Oh, well, happy, happy fucking Halloween, chat. Oh, it's a spooky time of month. We, we made it. You know, on the last year of the Chud, there was a little bit of a debate. Were we going to all be eviscerated? A nuclear hellfire was, was Vladimir coming to take us down. <laughs> was the uh, sarcophagus at Chernobyl going to go tits up with some C4? And we'd be irradiated, living in a fallout nuclear wasteland. What do you know? What do you know? We made it. I don't have a third arm yet. <laughs> Granted, I'm sick as fuck. Maybe I'll grow a third arm. But for you guys, I think we're good. I don't think there's any fallout. I think we survived it, Chad. I can't believe it. Oh, it's exciting. It's exciting to be alive. Welcome to the year of the Chud for October. Or the spooktacular cast, as I like to call it. Now, <laughs> I've, got, I've got quite the show lined up. I like to call it the tale of three cucks. You know, like how with Christmas and with Scrooge, he was visited by three ghosts. The ghost of uh, Christmas past, present, and future. We're kind of doing a thing like that. It's the tale of three cucks. Now, one of these I talked about yesterday. Uh, but it's so good, I can't not talk about it today. I'm just, I'm in the Halloween spirit. And watching three people get cucked and being able to to tell you that, that's that fills me with mirth. That's my treat for this year. All the good shit, all the candy, I'm giving out all to the to the neighborhood children. I spent a lot of time making the old the old homestead spooky enough. <laughs> Let me pull this up. See, I lure them in with lights. You see, this is how this works. It looks safe and comforting. Yeah, there's a graveyard there and an eight-foot-tall ghost. It doesn't matter. I lure them in with the lights. And they're feeling confident, coming for that candy. But then what do you think swoops down from the rooftops, dressed as a bat with a cheap Chinese transmitter <laughs> stapled on the back of it? A drone. And what is that drone going to be saying? All sorts of terrible things. My plan is... <laughs> as twisted as it sounds, this is my approach to this. I'm going to have offerings out. One will be candy. <laughs> One will be toys like squirt guns, because there's nothing better than children annoying their parents on Halloween with little toys they got that their parents fucking hate. And squirt guns are top tier. So, candy, toys. And then there's going to be a bowl, I shit you not, a bowl of carrots. <laughs> and a little sign that says, make sure to eat your vegetables. Now, no child on earth would ever touch a carrot. They're not interested in fucking vegetables. And so the moment they take their toys and their candy and they walk past that delicious looking nutritional carrot, in comes the hellbat. Swooping down on their little preteen asses at 25 miles an hour, Chinese speaker blaring obscenities. Should have eaten your, should have eaten your carrots. Your soul is mine. Some shit like that. Maybe some Hellraiser sound effects. <laughs> some, some classic lines from cinema. Watching them run down the neighborhood. Talking about the crazy fucking house that's trying to make them eat carrots. Against their fucking will. Should have eaten them, kid. Now, now you gotta pay the piper. Now you gotta pay the price. That's what happens. That's what happens when you don't obey nutritional values of a diet. A hell bad comes for you. Leave them with a nice little memory that they have to tell the therapist about years later. About the crazy fucking house in the neighborhood that swarmed them with bats because they wouldn't eat vegetables. That's how we roll. <laughs> that's how we do it. Oh, now we're at the start of the stream. That's usually where I shill. That's my, this is the, not the witching hour, it's the shilling hour. I know we're one day before Halloween, but I actually really like the holiday. And I figured a Sunday evening was better than doing it at the very end of the month. So since we're at the uh, the start of the show, let me do my let me do my uh, normal shilling here. Okay, let me get that out of the way. We've got our normal merchandise over at the Selfie store. Oh, look at those hats! Quality fucking hats, ladies and gentlemen. 
buy a hat for your hat. Wear it around town. It looks fancy. No, wait, sorry. That's the morning show stuff. Never mind that. Then we've got the, ooh, the spooky. It's a, it's a spooky Halloween-themed merchandise. There are no hats included, but when you're wearing your 14 hats, buy at least 22 coffee mugs, a few t-shirts, a sweater, and 19 stickers. That's, we are entirely hat-funded and subsidized by coffee mugs, stickers, and t-shirts. <laughs> spooky. All right, those carrots are fucking expensive, chat. All right, you ever try to buy a ton of carrots? It's not cheap. It's not easy to do. <laughs> oh, let us. Let me get this lined up. Let me get this ready. What are we going to start with, though? What 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 a wonderful story are we going to start with? Ah, oh, light up a cigarette. Get nice and healthy about this. <laughs> okay. I think we need to start with Wings of Redemption. Now, I, I talked about this yesterday morning, and I'm still dumbstruck by what I encountered. In fact, I, I compiled the clips together, threw a little extra on there. Because I, I know, it's a different audience in the morning show, but I, I really think you're going to enjoy this. And I could talk about this for fucking days. I've never seen somebody get cucked by a shoe salesman. But that's what's happening here. <laughs> this dude, Wings of Redemption, Jordy Jordan, is getting cucked by a fucking shoe salesman. A man that sells footwear is, is destroying his marriage, is homewrecking the shit out of the Wings house. How this has slipped by him, I, I don't know. I, I don't know how it slipped by me. But coming across this, it's the greatest fucking thing I've ever seen. And it's so blatant. You're going to meet the shoe pimp, the shoe baron. I'm not sure if there's really a working nickname for him yet. But he's out there fucking people's wives for, for, the, for the low, low cost of a pair of sneakers. Now, I know Wings has a habit of breaking controllers when he can't do very well at video games. So his walls... Must be pockmarked with holes right now. I can't imagine that he's coping very well with the reality that Al Bundy is fucking his wife. <laughs> Real to mods, mods, ban the shoe salesman. Welcome to ban town, shoe salesman. Oh, it's an, it's it's an embarrassing thing. Shall we shall we uh, begin with the story of our first cuck chat? Shall we jump right into the deep end chat? With a story of Wings of Redemption, absolutely getting just decimated by a dude that sells footwear. I'm thinking it's time to do it. I'm thinking it's real talk time, chat. Let's pull up the clip. The clip compilation. Some dude sent my wife like some DMs on Twitter about her weight loss and some shoes. And now she's getting fucked by him. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, some dude, uh, some dude sent my wife, you know, some DMs and a pair of shoes, and now they're fucking. Let's go. I just, that might be the greatest sound clip I've heard in fucking years. Oh, by, by the way, big ups, Burger Daddy, for this clip. Some dude sent my wife, like, some DMs on Twitter about her weight loss and some shoes, and now she's getting fucked by him. Let's go. My wife was talking to one of the people in her Twitter DMs about her weight loss, and she was proud of it. And now, all of a sudden, like, she's cheating on me. Yeah. I mean, like, the, the thing is, they is what she didn't share. What they didn't share. Joe, man, it's just the, it's the whole Kelly's cheating with the mods thing again. Like, anytime, like, I tell Kelly, don't entertain these people. I keep telling my wife, please, honey, for the love of God, Stop fucking our Discord mods. It's embarrassing. Please, please, honey, for uh, uh, Christ Almighty, have you seen what a Discord mod looks like, honey? Are you familiar with Edelwolf, Ethan Ralph's uh, top mod? It's a diaper fur. I can't handle this shit. Please stop fucking our moderators for low-cost items like shoes. Kelly, honey, baby, why not a Lambo? 
<laughs> why not a pile of money? Why shoes? Why is our marriage at the point where you are willing to fuck Discord bods for shit that's pocket change, honey? Don't talk to them. Don't do anything, because they're just out here to be manip- Yeah, they're just trying to be manipulative. I love this music. God, it's perfect for this. I didn't even know what was going on until I saw the fucking Twitter and Twi Kelly. By the way, chat, let me introduce you because you may be confused. Who is this? Is this is this Wings <laughs> uh, under like a new camera lighting system? No, this is the Shoe Baron. We were astonished when we watched this Saturday morning. If you look around Shoe Baron's room, you will see that this man has fucked at least half his neighborhood. Judging by every pair of shoes and shoe box in there, he has ruined at least 42 marriages. This is, this is the big pimp himself, the fucking shoe baron, the master home wrecker. He was like, yo, how could you? And I was like, what? And I was like, oh no. And I looked at that and I was like, okay, yeah, it looks bad. It really does. Cause that was within the first 24 hours of me knowing Kelly. We talked. Oh, I love his humble pranks. Imagine your wings sitting down and listening to this. And everybody's like, bro, listen, your wife is fucking a shoe salesman. <laughs> and you're like, no, that's, that's not possible. So you sit down to watch a video from the guy, Shoe Baron, the shoe pimp himself. And he humble brags, it only took 24 hours. Yo, wings. Yo, yo, what's up, wings? Look around my room. You see these flip-flops? Huh? You see these flip-flops? That's all it took. Flip-flops in two hours and your lady had her legs spread. Oh! A lot within the first 24 hours, for sure. We talked quite a bit more since then. Some dude sent my wife, like, some DMs on Twitter about her weight loss and some shoes. And now she's getting fucked by him. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, chat. Oh, uh, let me, I can't do voices for these, but I, I'll read along. We'll read along. We'll pause and read. This is from Kelly. This guy has receipts. Wait till you see the amount of fucking receipts this Discord mod has. This is from her to him. I was still a virgin until I got married. Yo, baby, how many times have you had sex, Kelsta? Question mark. Have you only had sex once in your life, bitch? Not to sound like Bill Clinton. Define sex. Yeah. Like penetration, honey. Like how I'm penetrating your happy household and ruin it with my shoes. <laughs> I've gotta, I've gotta wait for the more, for more of the logs to come up. Her answer is zero. How many times have you had sex? That's a zero. That's not an O for like, oh my God, what orgasms am I getting? That's a zero for no penises come near me. What? How is that possible? You and Pimp never had sex? Kelly, he is too big. And she's not referring to the size of his unit. Because I got a clip for that later on too. Because let's make it really embarrassing. You know, Kelly Zero. has been flirtatious with you. You haven't said that. And you know, it's not you because you just bark it. It's because she's being that way. I find that also, like, you know... And Wings is okay with that. We just said... It's nothing bad. It's just innocent flirting. How do you feel about? It? Oh, I've heard this this phrase before. Because this is this is like a saga, as, as I dug a little deeper. That's gone on for for well multiple years now. And Wings Wings does use the fucking term innocent flirting. Oh, it was just innocent flirting when uh when Al Bundy here was literally railing my wife, and I could hear it through the walls. That was innocent flirting. When he was slapping her ass and riding the uh, waves <laughs> to the edge of the bed and back, innocent flirting. This is all, it's all super innocent. Oh, we are, we are in for some cope. What, that, that this isn't that bad? Yeah. Uh, well, here's the thing. I'm in an open relationship with my girlfriend, and even my girlfriend complains about the amount of time I spend talking to Kelly. I l again, again, shoe baron, the shoe pimp. 8,500 pairs of shoes around this store. He's got a storeroom full of shoes for when he meets a bitch. 
and he's getting so much pussy. He's fucking so many housewives in this neighborhood that it has to be an open relationship. That his his woman had to have an open relationship with him because he just can't stop fucking. Listen, baby. All right, they all want a piece of the shoe baron. You see those Reeboks? Bitches love Reeboks. You see those Adidas over there? That means anal. I won't even tell you, honey, what these thoughts are willing to do for a pair of Nikes. Open polyamorous relationship. Oh, this is ni- this is Nightmare. Your Discord mod has bribed your wife with footwear and is in an open relationship and talks to her all the time, Wings. How have you not physically punched down every wall in your house at this point? Like, even she's like, damn, yo, you always talk to her. And she's always, because I got a special alert on my phone that lets me know when she thinks me. And fucking my girlfriend's like, bro, Kelly be hitting you up, like, a lot. How much does she hit you up a day? We talk, like, like all day long, yo. All day long. Let me let me direct this at Wings. If he ever, ever sees this, if anybody ever clips this, um, clip it right, clip it right now. Wings, listen, bro, it's okay. I don't want you to think about the fact that a shoe salesman talks to your wife all day long. I don't want you to think about the fact that a shoe salesman laughs with your wife as she describes how you've never had sex. Don't get upset at the idea of a shoe salesman drilling her ass like he's looking for oil. It's going to be okay, Wings. Put those thoughts out of your head. Don't think about them sitting together in your bedroom on your bed when you're not around, laughing about your inadequacies sexually. Don't think about it. It'll be very upsetting. Don't think about this man and his heavy stomach slapping into your wife's ass as he pounces her in the back of the head with Adidas shoes like a donkey punch. Don't think about it, bro. It's just going to get you upset. Okay, all right, we're good. <laughs> You talk to Kelly all day long. Yeah, like when I wake up, usually I, I message her or have a message from her already. Depends upon if I wake up first or she does. God, the music makes it so good. I told Kelly, I was like, I was like, if you really want to know, I was like, you're just the new version of Gangsta Granny. Like, I. I Damn, wait, what? Yeah. Hold on. Like, Okay, I don't know the deep lore on who Gangster Granny is. All right, um, maybe I should know more. I did a Wings video. But I'm just going to assume that this guy is so crazy for sex that he's not just ruining marriages. He's, he's fucking people's grandmothers. He's going down to the old age home with the infirmed and looking for people that are just just miserable, like the, the oldest 80-year-old he can find. And he pulls out a pair of Air Jordans and he unzips his pants. And he's like, let's do this. Let's go. She, if you look at the, if you look at the, the duality between Gangsta Granny and what Kelly does for him, he sits there all day and he yells when things go bad. He, he tells on. Now, somebody in chat said that is, uh, that is, <laughs> that's Wing's dead grandmother. Um, did the shoe baron get to her before she passed away? Cause that's, that's brutal. I mean, I'd want to hop off a rooftop if a shoe salesman was fucking my wife. But then if you added in the fact that he didn't just fuck my wife, he also fucked my grandmother. <laughs> I don't know if I could cope with that. That would probably, if he has DMs of him and grandma, is this the same grandma that dug shit out of his ass? A little deep lore for you. A Wings of Redemption had a turd that was just too big to unpack. So he whistled. I'm not making this up. This is a story he's told. He whistled for grandmother to come into the bathroom and start turd hunting up his uh, up his shit shoot. <laughs> she dug it out. She dug it out. And the thought, oh, I wonder if the thought goes through his wings head that the same fingers that unpried that, uh, that log jam in his asshole were also wrapped around Big Pimp hair, the shoe baron. I don't think he could handle it. On them to the trolls, Kelly, they're being mean to me, and like, like it's it's basically more like a mother-child relationship than a husband-son. I mean, husband-like wife. <laughs> <laughs> I always let the model first. 
See where Kelly's at is what I'm actually doing. Has anybody has anybody seen my wife? Please. Is there is there anybody out there that's seen has seen my wife? I don't know where she's gone. All I found was one high heel with a note in it that said, I'm going for a dickin'. And I don't is that code for something? My Call of Duty friends in this lobby, please. I don't know where my wife is. <laughs> There's a car parked out front of my house I don't recognize. And the license plate the license plate says shoes for sluts and it's all fogged up and I don't know what's going on, but it's rocking and I can't go knocking. I don't know how to she's supposed to be sharing her location, but I don't know how to see people's location on my phone. She on the phone. Yaw, shit, man. I know where your wife is. She right here on my phone, begging for my dick. <laughs> Come on. Come on. This is getting... This is getting a little depressing. Oh, when I first stumbled on this, it's the most... my. This is a very strange story. It appears about three weeks ago, and then nobody talks about it afterwards. I don't know... Maybe the dedicated A-logs that fuck with Wings felt so bad that he is literally getting cucked by a shoe salesman that they're like, fuck, we tap out on this one. Maybe Wings wife has run off to the to the fancy shoe store with a shoe baron. I don't know. But we're gonna keep going to this mystery, and then we're gonna look at some past prior statements that make me think that she is she is just all up in that Discord deck. <laughs> And she's like, you wish I could be me? I was like, nah, I don't want to be you. I'm awesome. See? It was some some random chick. I was like, hey, she said, take that L. I said, I can't take that L when I look like this. I'm a walking W. Bitch, I ain't taking that L, but you taking this D. See, that's the kind of game the Shoe Baron has. You don't expect it. He's quick on his feet. He should be because he's got, he's got athletic shoes because he has so many pairs. He's the fucking Shoe Baron taking this L. Baby, you take this D. I said, it's better than being a walking failure. I was like, her husband, he's a big man, baby. She's like, um, this is Kelly. So I was like, your husband, he's a big man, baby. <laughs> See, I don't, uh, this guy, holy shit. It's the worst person to have fuck your wife. It's bad enough it's an affair. But to have a dude that takes joy in ruining your marriage, that's next level shit. All right. Shoe Baron is here talking shit about Wings to his wife before he fucks his wife. And now he's, he's recounting it with laughter as he shows his, his phone book's worth of DMs. Wait till you see this shit. <laughs> like, she's like, don't speak like that about Jordy. I was like, I won't. Oh, there you go. I was like, I won't if he didn't act like that. You don't get tired of hearing him cry all the time about bullshit when you're dealing with real life shit, like your weight and health. It's like, I was just, I was just wondering. It bothers me watching him focus all his attention on his shit and he ignores you. So remember, I said I had an issue with keeping things in because I told her about my verbal diarrhea and my, my filters. I don't have one. I said, it's okay, you'll get used to it. We're gonna be besties. She was like, you're basically down in my husband, not Bessie material. I was like, then we can skip from that and move right to the affair then. Are you fucking kidding? He jumps in her DMs. He jumps in her DMs. He's like, I'm going to shit talk your husband. She's like, that's mean. He's like, okay, I'll move on directly then from shit talking your husband to fucking you. <laughs> this is like, this is like a pickup artist video from like 2014 that nobody stumbled on. And that's when you tell her, her husband's a bitch and a simp, and he can't satisfy her. And then you say, bitch, I'm going to be fucking you from now on. She was like, I told you, I don't share. I was like, well, I mean, Wayne said y'all don't sleep together, so technically you're not sharing. This is, she posted this. Now, I thought initially on Saturday that this is like coded language. All right, she's in the background, chat, talking to a dude that literally lives in a room full of nothing but shoes who wants to bribe her for... He's like, that's his in. His in is shoes. 
And now she's suddenly tweeting about your girl walking through her shoe. I'm thinking that's code word for I'm getting fucked by Al Bundy. That's what I'm thinking. Do you think Wings is running around his house right now? Like checking every shoe to see how new they are? Like every time he finds a new pristine pair of shoes, he knows she's gotten fucked. And then heartbreakingly, he opens like a closet door and it's an avalanche of them. 2,000 shoes fall on his head and he just sits there and he sobs. Yeah, yo, I, I offered to buy her shoes. I told her, here, I, I'll show you the, I'll show you the DM, cause I'm not showing anything bad. You know what I mean? I'm not sh this guy, this fucking guy. This is why you don't use Discord. This guy, I'm not showing anything bad. Listen, I'm just sitting here doing a live stream, talking about ruining some dude's marriage, and fucking his girl for a pair of shoes. Let me show you those DMs. Nothing bad in there. <laughs> There's nothing bad in there. Like next week, so she wants to be back to 8, 188. She's at 194 now. I was like, when's your next way? And she's like, next Saturday. I said, okay. If you hit your goal and prove it to me, I'll get you a pair of walking shoes. And she already told me she's size nine, ladies. She's like, I'll get my shoes. I was like, have you seen my room? She's like, I have not. And I'm like, look at that. This is literally, this is this, is this dude's dating approach. He sends out Instagram fucking shots of himself by racks of shoes. It's not, what life is he living? It's like, it's like a cartoon character. It's a pickup artist that lives in a shoe warehouse that destroys marriages. <laughs> this is like a cartoon. This is an adult swim sketch. This should be on fucking, a, a, this should be on like a Sam Hyde video. I was like, I practically live in a shoe store. She said her soles are, are flat. I said, you worked hard to get where you are. You deserve a pair of shoes so you can fucking walk. You know what I mean? Baby, you're going to need a good pair of shoes to walk around in, because when I'm done with you, you ain't going to be walking right. I am the shoe baron, honey. Have you seen my Instagram with my 42 warehouses full of pumps? <laughs> I'm coming for that ass. It's the truth. If Wings ain't gonna buy her a pair of shoes and support her in her, her weight loss journey, somebody's got it. And I already told you, yo, the stack is getting fatter every single day, yo. So, like. I love this. Now, you know, when I first saw this, I laughed because his stack is literally $1 bills. If you look underneath, it's a $1 bill. Shoe pimp here, the shoe baron. All right, he's got warehouses full of fucking $300 pairs of shoes but his stack is full of ones. And I laughed a lot about that. But then I thought, wait a minute. What if this guy is such a Machiavellian mastermind? Like, what if he is so uber petty and so destructive to Wing's marriage that the reason he has a stack of $1 bills is because that is literally more money than Wing's will make in a day? All right, Wing's is out there begging for nickels on Twitch or wherever the fuck he is. So all this guy has to do is really fish around for some pocket change. And he's the better option. I almost think it's like a dare. Like this is, he's, he's living inside the head of wings right now. He's like, you see this stack of $1 bills? That's all it took for me to fuck your wife, bro. Buy a hundred dollar pair of shoes for her ain't that big of a deal. So. You know what I mean? Okay, look at this shit. Look at this shit. He's not even fucking watching. Wings, this dude is talking to your wife so much. He doesn't even have to watch as it scrolls. That's how much the conversation is. Since we've been DMing. I ain't even looking, Big Pimp. You see this? This is how hungry your wife was for this dick. All day. She don't... All day, Wings. All day. Wings, bro. Whatever you do, don't think about it. Don't think about the fact that a shoe salesman is just scrolling through 8 billion DMs with your wife. Don't, don't let it seep into your mind. It's poison. It's going to drive you crazy. She won't be hanging out with him, yo. Look. 
Look, look at this shit. Bitches be loving shoes. It just keeps going. God. Do you think he's got like another room that's dedicated to like purses? And maybe like a makeup room? He's like his own fucking functional mall, isn't he? I bring the bitches over and I, I give them I give them two minutes like on an old eighties game show to run around and grab all the shit they want before I fuck them. That's how that's how the shoe baron rolls. It just keeps going. It doesn't stop. Your wife is getting fucked so severely, Wings. How are you not going crazy? <laughs> it's like a fucking villain from a cartoon. This is villain shit. Uh, this is why you don't let your woman go on. This, you gotta, listen. Real talk, all right? You need to, we need to fuck. like, Discord has to go away. All right, look at the destruction that it just, look at what's happening. Look at what's happening right now. All right. This guy is a villain. Here's a here's like a villain montage that I expect this dude to be engaged in. Uh let's let's let me pull it up. Like this is this is this is what I imagine he sees in his mind as he's laughing right now in this video. <laughs> I just can't do it. I can't take this shit no more, man. All I wanted to do was, like, I was fucking lonely. I wanted to fucking stream and, and, and have a good time. Maybe have a good game. <laughs> I hate my life. <laughs> it's so, it's so, oh, oh, it's so sad. It's so sad and it's so bad, Wings. But <laughs> let me do another little PSA here. Wings. Buddy. <laughs> All right, I don't want you to freak out or anything, but other people are aware that your wife is getting deep dick by a shoe salesman now. All right, Boogie, Boogie had a message for you. All right, a word of support. He's been through some tough times, and Boogie wanted to he wanted to give you a message so you don't lose heart, Wings. All right, just listen to his words. Listen to the words of of Boogie. Filling her with cock meat, giving her the real fuck she deserves. Look, it's filling her with cock meat. Actually, that probably wasn't very helpful, was it, Wings? If anything, I think that might have just made it worse. I think this may have, I may have made it worse, Chad. I may have, I may have made things worse accidentally, Chad. Accidentally, not intentionally whatsoever. Dudes, you guys, you guys are running with a bad narrative. Like I have, my wife is not unfaithful. Oh, now these are the older messages. All right. Because don't just think, like once COVID hit, this lady went shoe shopping, you know, quote unquote, if you know what I mean. All right. And it's been all up inside Discord. You know, he is my plan B. Holy fuck, that's harsh. That was brutal when it first dropped. That he is my plan B. What makes it catastrophic is that she is now literally fucking Plan A. And Plan A is Al Bundy. That's what the A stands for. It stands for Al. My wife was talking to one of the people in her Twitter DMs about her weight loss and she was proud of it. And now all of a sudden, like, she's cheating on me. I don't, is this like Terminator music? Is that like Terminator music? Because, like, his marriage is terminated? Is this from a video game? I don't know what it is, but it fits so well. Oh, if you thought it wasn't done being brutal, remember, we just looked at her calling him Plan B. Now here she is in more DMs talking about how bored she is and uh, getting together for a one-on-one. -on -one. 
But wait till you see what she says. Don't act innocent. Sending out I love yous. Oh, to Discord mods. No. Oh, oh, I, I would. I don't, I'd light myself on fire. I'd gouge my eyes out. Run into a wood chipper, maybe. If I thought the shoe baron was getting DM messages where she said, yes, daddy. She's calling him fucking daddy. Oh, that is a kill shot, chat. That is a fucking kill shot. Chat, can we get an R? Can we get a rip in peace? Can we get an R in chat for this marriage? Because it's dead. <laughs> uh, should, uh, uh, no, should we get a should we get a Y for yes, daddy, instead? I don't know, chat. Are we doing an R for a dead marriage, rip in peace? Or a Y for a yes, daddy? <laughs> for a pair of shoes. All that work. Oh, all those years of work. Flush down the toilet for for some Adidas. Seeing a lot of R's and Y's. Seen a few N's in there too. Getting brave, are we? <laughs> the shoe baron cometh. Oh, that's fucking brutal. Lots of R a lot chat, I'm watching you right now. I don't think you have a lot of faith in the fact that um <laughs> that this marriage is going anywhere. I think you're, you're, uh, yeah, I think we're, I think the marriage might be in some trouble. Yes, daddy. Yes, daddy. Put the shoes on me. Put the shoes on me and take me away from here. Now, it doesn't end just there. Like I said, there's a bit of a backlog. Luckily, PKA has like highlight clips where they, they you know, a lot of the shit's like buried in it. So we, we can look at uh, the previous adventure of trying to fuck Discord mods. Maybe they were shoeless. That's why they didn't get anywhere. I don't know, but let's take a look. <laughs> How big do you think my penis is? Ah, now this is a great clip. Here you are on the internet. This happened like a year or two ago. And everybody's talking about your dick pics and they're saying you've got a small cock. What is it about fat guys with small dicks putting their penises on the internet and embarrassing themselves? I don't know. But here's Wings. <laughs> here's Wings. People uh, uh, questioning the size of his uh, uh, tallywhacker. Now, you'd think, okay, his wife's going to defend him. She's going to be like, it's the biggest dick I've ever seen. We need a wheelbarrow. I stick my head out the window sometimes just to tell the neighbors. But watch how she reacts. Would you say it's more six inches? I don't know. Would you say it's the length of the water bottle? Mm, I don't know. You could answer it. Mm, I don't know. How don't you know? You see it. <laughs> Do I? Oh, oh, fuck. I don't know. Is that the cancer or what is this pain in my heart? Oh, I, uh, is it my having a medical emergency or is that, did that just, did I feel that? Was that like an empathy shot? Did somebody shoot me with the empathy gun? Oh, fuck. Oh, I need a minute. Oh, holy fuck that savage. That's his wife. That's his fucking wife. God, that's so brutal, Wings. Mm-hmm. What? They're trying to say I got a small penis and you won't you you won't back <laughs> me up. Why are you worried about that? Who needs to care if you how big your penis is but your wife? Well, apparently apparently she doesn't care. Or she, or she does care in a different way because she's she's run away with a shoe salesman, Wings. That's mm -hmm. it. So why why worry about what they think? Mm-hmm. You do stupid things, make stupid choices, you deal with stupid... Okay. It's time for me to exit. <laughs> Why? Because I've finished emasculating you in front of your viewership of 30 people, Wings. I've, I've thoroughly finished absolutely dragging my balls across your fucking forehead, Wings. That's why I'm taking my exit now. After assuring the audience that you have a tiny little penis, I'm going to make my exit. You came in here and dropped that bombshell. <laughs> like you wouldn't even answer the penis question. You're really disturbed about that, aren't you? Yeah. You're you're the you're the number one connoisseur. You've seen my penis more than anybody here, and you won't even answer the question. Are we sure I have? I mean, I'm sure there's some fucking shit, man. <laughs> You've seen my penis more than anybody. Are we sure I've seen it? 
I didn't have my microscope on me. All right. I what microscope? Fuck. I need a telescope. We need the Hubble up in here, Wings. Let me go ask NASA if I can borrow it. And then I can tell your chat how big your dick is. Once I get it in focus, I just need to set it for galaxy distances so I can hone in on that tiny little thing. Mother people. Mm hmm. Why do you care? Why, why don't you answer the questions? Why do you care? I just think that those kinds of things are private things that we shouldn't talk about. That's why I'm on a live stream right now in front of your audience, telling them that you have an incredibly tiny little cock. Mm. Maybe it's because I grew up very sheltered. I know why it is, but this isn't the time to be sheltered. This is the time to take your husband's honor. <laughs> Fucking shit! I, am, I, am I reading into this chat? I'll pull the viewers here for a minute. Does this woman... Is she, like, made out of Arctic ice? Is this... It's, like, cold-blooded shit, right? Like, we're watching an evisceration happen right now as he desperately tries to claw back some sort of... Some sort of reputation. And she just dead stares at him. He literally begs. He begs her. Please. Please, for the love of God, tell these strangers that I have a big dick. It's all I have left. I am obese? The hair on my head has disappeared? We live in a trailer. I make $2 a day streaming games I hate. All people do on the internet is laugh at me. So please, for the love of all that's holy and God on high, for all the good that exists in this world, please lie and tell them I have a big dick. And she just looks at him like, nope, nah, no, nah, I don't think so, homie. <laughs> no, nah, no, nah, son, I'm not. No, nah, I don't think I will. I don't think I'm going to do that today. He is sounding real insecure right now, isn't it? No shit. Is he? You think he's feeling a little insecure right now, do you? You've literally chopped his balls off in front of a live audience. Do you think? Maybe? Yeah, because like, they, because they leaked, they leaked the, like a picture I took at like four o'clock in the morning on a semi chub to like some girl I was talking to. So that's confirmation. The dick pic that people were making fun of for being a, a tiny little tallywhacker uh, is real. And he's giving every George Costanza excuse he can. It's like an episode of Seinfeld. It was really windy that day. And my feet were in ice buckets. And I had no clothes on. And the room I was in, weirdly enough, all the wallpaper was just pictures of my family. So I couldn't, I couldn't maintain an erection. It was impossible. And if I tried closing my eyes, it didn't help, honey. Because somebody was playing church sermons over the loudspeaker that was mysteriously installed in the ceiling. I have a big dick. Please just tell them that. After Brandy left me. That's probably going to be the first thing. Irreconcilable differences. Mm -hmm. She refused to tell the internet I had a thick six. Now, here's, here's a little more. Here's, here's him addressing the first set of leaks. Like, oh, uh, you, boo, you know, I love you. This is right here is honest flirting. He describes, <laughs> this is mind blowing. He describes her saying that he is a plan B as honest flirting. This again, honest flirting. This is one day after Valentine's Day and I just bought her diamond earrings. Look at the dates. So January 30th, uh, can we call you? This could be anybody adding the text here. This is when Joe Mann came to visit us. And I don't know what they're trying to get right here and says yes. A new best friend, I see how it is. They'll be going on dates together soon. And like, this is Kelly's things right here. And this is Matthew. Matthew, he's not with us no more because he couldn't handle the trolls. <laughs> Ignores it. That's okay. That can be me and you. Oh! Oh! Chat. <laughs> okay. It's time to blues clues this shit, chat. All right, here's what we've got. Here's the timeline we've established. For over, it'd be two years now. She's been on Discord and DMs and Instagram flirting with numerous people. Talking shit about her husband. 
When he gets in an embarrassing situation about his tiny cock, she won't defend him. When men come up and blatantly hit on her, she just giggles and loves it. And if things couldn't get worse, suddenly appears the shoe baron. And the shoe baron has a phone book's worth of records and receipts. He's got an astronomical amount of them. And she's all up on that shit. She's saying, yes, daddy. His wife is calling another man daddy. Again, if you don't think this is wings, every moment of every waking hour for the last three weeks, I don't know what to tell you. But this is this is literally, <laughs> this is wings screaming in the background as the shoe baron, I don't know, counts his stack of $1 bar- bills, uh, goes through the DMs laughing about fucking this dude's wife. <laughs> I just can't do it. I can't take this shit no more, man. All I wanted to do was, like, I was fucking lonely. I wanted to just fucking stream and have a good time. Maybe have a good game. <laughs> the shoe baron no mercy he's got no mercy for you wings out there wrecking rare <laughs> wrecking marriages uh, destroying things uh now i see we've got super chats i'll read them at the uh, end like i usually do but i do see a big one so let me let me run to the money from tradeca 13 jim did you see that hasbro lost one billion dollars when wizards of the coast announced they're reprinting four unplayable beta booster packs for a thousand dollars each now everyone hates them. Andy Raceworski finally hit the building. No, I have not been up on any of the Wizards of the Coast shenanigans. I'm sorry. Now, you know who could afford those pay or the packs of one thousand dollar replicant uh, beta boosters? The shoe baron. The shoe baron could most likely afford them easily. Without any any problems whatsoever. Holy shit, what a nightmare. Oh, is it spooky for you, chat? Are we getting are we getting spooked? Is it getting scary? That was the tale of our first cuck. We've got another fat cuck coming up now. <laughs> uh, who could it be? I wonder. This cuck, also overweight. Uh, this cuck, also uh, showed the internet his tiny itty bitty little dick. Now it might not be it might not be as brutal as a shoe salesman openly talking shit on YouTube and showing records. But it's up there. <laughs> it's definitely up there. Now, I'm, I'm sure you're familiar uh, with our, our next cuck, the second cuck of the evening, Ethan Ralph. Now, you may not be aware of this. Well, there's some things going on. Now, usually I, I include a segment where we talk about Ralph and Ralph's shenanigans. But what, what Ralph shenanigans do we really have to go through? There's like a couple of things. But what you need to know about uh, what's going on with the Rage Pig, the Bog Hog himself, is that the A-Logs got together, the A-Hog Coalition, sat down in a room with Michael Alberto, their leader, and decided, after much deliberation, that they were going to issue the No Ralph November Challenge. Where, where they were going to see what would happen if you ignore him and don't pay any attention. Would it drive him insane? Surely it couldn't be that easy. So taking into consideration the No Ralph November Challenge, I've really not been paying super close attention to him. Maybe that's me trying to cheat and get a head start. But we do have a few bits of Ralph news uh, to go through. The first thing you should be aware of is that Ralph has literally been trained like an animal. There's a guy called Zannyberries, who is, I don't know how he did this. Okay, I'm not, I'm not aware of how he actually physically pulled this off. But he has trained Ethan Ralph to fart and shit himself on command. Ralph stalks his timeline daily and talks about it for hours obsessively. And through his posting, it's like some kind of Pavlovian response. He has clip after clip of <laughs> clip of Ethan Ralph farting and shitting himself at his command. Ralph has reached a point where he's so confused. 
he's just baffled. He doesn't. He thinks Zanny Berries is everywhere now, magically blowing a whistle that makes him shit himself. Is that Zanny Berries over there? I don't know. Is he out? Is is he over on this side? I don't know. He could he could be anywhere. But the funnier bit of uh, Ralph news would be related to Cog. Now, uh, Ralph had, I believe, like Cog's brother on as an interview on his show. So Cog decided he was going to go tit for tat and had Ralph's ex come on his show to talk about the real issues. And boy, did she have some funny things to say. It's a very short compilation. The, the interview itself was about 40 minutes. I've cut it down to one minute. <laughs> the one minute I think you're going to enjoy the most Let's start it off with uh let's start it off with a real winner. Can I get a statement of his tiny mic? Okay, that people want a statement of an actual they want a size. They want a how big is his penis if you could guesstimate, estimate whatever. Under 5. Under under 5. Pro I'm sorry. Did he say height? Was that question how tall is he? Or was that related to his penis size? Can I get a statement of his tiny mic? Okay, that people want a statement of an actual. They want a size. They want a how big is his penis? If you could guesstimate, estimate, whatever. Under five. Under under five. Probably. Under five inches. Under five inches. What was did? It under five inches. Now, if you remember, Ralph has gone to war with like forty-eight different podcasters and streamers because they keep reminding him he has a tiny little dick. He doesn't like laughing girls. It upsets him quite a bit. And if you remember too, he desperately tried to convince Alice. Hey, just so you know, I know I released revenge pornography on the internet where you can clearly see my itty bitty little dick, but uh, it's much bigger. Okay. It pisses me off about that video. Not even a cope, not even a cope. Okay. My dick is not tiny, not a cope. And yet here's the X. What was that again? Penis. If you could guesstimate, estimate, whatever. Under five. Under five inches. Under five inches. Oh, that's hurtful. That's a little bit painful, Ralph. It's, it's a tiny bit painful. Chat, can we can we get an itty bitty in chat? Because I think Ralph is streaming li right now, and I'm I'm fairly certain he'll probably stream snipe or make a comment about the stream. So could you just could you just spam itty bitty in chat right now? If he happens to be watching, so he's aware that now the entire internet knows he has a, a baby dick that's been confirmed, itty bitty, itty bitty baby dick. Could we, could we make sure that he's fucking aware of that? I don't know. I don't know. It might make him a little bit mad. Teeny weeny, itty bitty. Oh, oh, they even have a little emoji for it. It's a little, little fingers going together. <laughs> Aww. Itty bitty. <laughs> oh. oh, I love the internet. It's so stupid. So, of course, the uh, the tit for tat didn't end there. I mean, getting getting a, a size uh, measurement in the record book is one thing. But, uh, you know, Cog wanted to continue the uh, the interview. Got a few other interesting little bits. On the under five, Probably. under five inches, under five inches. What was, did, do you know any of the tabs that were open, any of the porn he was watching? Now, they're discussing the lead up into this, is that he wouldn't let her use the internet. <laughs> so after, I, I like, I picture her locked in a room, well, like, I, I don't know, <laughs> locked up against like a heating grate or something, but um, she has no internet. He won't let her go on the internet. So she decides to use a smart TV. And when she turns it on, the uh, browser's open in it, and there are 50 tabs open. Now, I wonder what kind of pornography were in those tabs. Uh, some of the ones that caught my attention were, like, three-way things or um, cuckolding ones were the other ones. Uh, so. Um, oh, wait a second. I'm sorry. I'm fucking sorry. What? What kind of porn was in that? But I must have misheard that. What what porn did she say she found in there? Or um, a cuckolding one. Um, a cuckolding um, a cuckolding ones were the. C c was that cuckolding porn? Did tiny itty bitty baby dick like cuckolding porn? Oh no! Oh, that's devastating. Itty bitty baby dick likes cuckolding porn. The other ones, uh, so 
those were the ones that ca- caught my eye were mostly like you know female female male and then the cuckolding stuff okay cuckold porn and and, and, and poly shit got you <laughs> oh my god the whim- so <laughs> Oh, oh, that's got to hurt. <laughs> At least Wings wasn't into cuck porn. Ralph, what are you doing? Brain was just something he did like every night, like while he was asleep. So I don't know what that is about. What, but... what, 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 what do you mean by whimpering? Do you mean like... <laughs> like... Yeah, like that. <laughs> no way! <laughs> <much> like that. <laughs> no way! Uh, well, like... I thought, like, oh, maybe he's having a nightmare or something. So, of course, I just... <laughs> okay. So, this is this is her life with Ethan Ralph. <laughs> Ralph sits around all day playing with his baby dick, watching cuckolding porn. And then every night when he falls asleep, he whippers. Every night. Every night. He whippers like a newborn baby. I don't know if you caught that. Let's listen to that again. Just imagine him shivering... <laughs> with cuck porn in his dreams was asleep so i god shit got you (laughs) oh my god the whimpering was just something he did like every night like while he was asleep so every night little baby dick ethan ralph whimpering every night oh i don't know what that is about but what 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 do you mean by whimpering do you mean like (laughs) like like that (laughs) no way Uh, well, like, I thought, like, oh, maybe he's having a nightmare or something. So, of course, I just would hold him, trying to like, oh, comfort him. It's not true. Uh, oh. <laughs> There's a lot more in the interview, um, but those were the funniest to me. And since we're about to go into No Ralph November, I thought I'd include them. So, really, it's <laughs> really Ethan Ralph's month has been uh, confirming he has a baby dick. Confirming he's a cuck porn fanatic. Confirming he literally whimpers to himself every single night and needs to be held because he's a crying man baby. And he's been trained to shit on command by Zanny Berries. <laughs> oh. Now, of course, you'd ask yourself, what's going to happen if all the A-hogs get together and just openly say, oh, we're not going to talk about Ralph. We're not going to even pay attention to him. Oh, you know. You know he's gonna. That's gonna. It's gonna. It's like opposite day. He has to. He has to do something to provoke a response. So, what does he? What does he decide to do? What do you think Ethan Ralph decides to do once he realizes the A Hogs are just gonna ignore him for like thirty days to see what happens? He fucking publicly announces that he's going on another international trip. Probably going to Havana later this month. So let me know what you want me to check out. I like making some sightseeing content on these trips. For those for those unaware, every time Ralph goes to a foreign country, he gets his face punched in. His eyes <laughs> they they like gecko out now. If he gets assaulted one more time, I don't think he's gonna be able to survive it. He will he'll become like a prey or a, yeah, a prey animal. Like his eyes will be on literally on the side of his head if he gets hit one more time. So the moment the Ahogs say, We're gonna ignore you. He, he is so desperate for attention, even negative attention. He announces that he's going on another international globetrotting event where he's probably going to get beaten in the streets by a pimp or by a British streamer. Who knows? Who fucking knows? <sighs> I think, really, that this is going to be good for everyone. <laughs> we'll probably read an obit about him in the middle of November, but nobody will talk about it. What we need to do is just put on our costumes, <laughs> enjoy our Halloweens. And, uh, you know, Ralph, Ralph, I, I think it's time, you know, somebody told you. That'll do, pig. That'll do. <laughs> oh, my God, all these, all these fat cucks. I don't understand what's happening here. Not, I'm not understanding, not understanding why that so many fat men are showing their tiny penises on the internet and it's turning out terribly. It's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit crazy. <laughs> it's a little bit, it's a little bit absurd.
All right. Well, I think I'm going to grab a drink. Maybe you're going to grab a drink. And we'll, we'll get ready for the third cucketing that's coming up. So we had Wings watching his, his marriage literally implode because of a shoe salesman. We had Ralph have an ex, make fun of his penis, and talk about how he cries like a little bitch and loves cock porn. <laughs> and now going forward, nobody's going to talk about him. There will be no ralph a male coverage in the year of the Chud for November. It's like he doesn't exist. But we've still got that third that third one coming up. So we'll take a small break, put on a little music. Yeah, go take a piss, do whatever you got to do. Because it's, it's spooky break time, Chad. Ooh, spooky break time. And <laughs> we'll come back and get to the third cuckening of the evening. Okay, chat. Oh, I hope you got your drink and you took your pee and you checked the house for goblins and ghouls and all the spooky, scary shit that pops up during Halloween. Oh, oh, it's scary out there. Maybe there's a shoe salesman trying to fuck your wife. You never know. You never know what's out there, chat. You never know what's lurking in the darkness. Our third story. Our third story is not actually a fat cuck. But it is somebody that got cucked. In a funny way. Now, I'm sure you're all aware. Elon Musk is out there. Bought himself uh, himself a little website called Twitter. Maybe you heard of it. Maybe you haven't. You know, a couple people use it. A couple people use it occasionally. Uh, A couple people use it occasionally just for funsies. Well, once Elon decided he was going to buy Twitter, somebody decided to hold a big-ass celebration. Because they were back, baby. Oh, it was going to be a brand new day on Twitter.com. I'm talking about our McDonald's-loving, chromium-abusing, Nicholas J. Fuentes. Elon Musk. The boor! The white South African hero! A modern American titan. Purchased Twitter and is on track imminently to liberate each and every last one of us and set things right again. So, we're going to crack a Pepsi Nitro, we're going to raise a glass and say a toast for all the fallen, all the suspended Twitter accounts, all of those posts destroyed, wiped away like tears in the wind, No longer will we be censored, smeared, blacklisted, shadow banned, blocked. 2022. It's the year of second chances. We're coming home. They're coming home. Nick was so excited. He had a crystal goblet out. A little little crystal flute he was drinking nitro Pepsi out of. He eats his french fries with a fork and knife, by the way. So he was super excited. Oh my god, they're back, baby. AF America First is back on Twitter.com. You can't stop it. It's the cozy momentum. And then literally the next day, what does he post? Yesterday was the biggest band wave on Twitter since January 6, 2021. Uh-oh. That can't be right. How can how can we go from celebrating to literally every groiper that exists on Twitter being purged? being purged in an instant like they mattered nothing. And I love the second follow-up tweet from an account that also has been purged. The same day as Nick, too. This fucking sucks. Looks like the ADL and the SPLC will get their grubby hands on Twitter. Elon Musk, fix this shit now, you lazy bastard. (laughs) What What was Elon Musk's response to this? Well, LeBron James was like, hey, man. N-word posting on Twitter is, like, exponentially increased. There's an 8,000% N-word increase on Twitter.com. So Elon Elon quote tweets, Yoel Roth, who says, Nearly all these accounts are inauthentic. We've taken action to ban the users involved in this trolling campaign and are going to continue working to address this in the days to come to make Twitter safe and welcoming to everyone. Inauthentic. Reminds me of what Wikipedia said about Ethan Ralph that he was a uh, window dressing for a nothing burger. So I just like to point out, can we, let's talk about this. I was talking about this earlier uh, today. We need to get Nick Fuentes to start talking about sports. 
All right, follow my logic on this. This guy is the uh, living incarnation, right? He's like, he's descended upon Earth as like a bizarro version of a person that gets everything wrong. If Nick Fuentes backs a political candidate, they lose. If he condemns them, they win. If he says everybody's getting back on Twitter, there's a purge. All we need to become rich is not some altcoin cryptocurrency scheme. All right, we don't need to know how to invest in Wall Street. We just need Nick Fuentes to pick sports teams and bet against them. Whatever Nick thinks is going to be a winning sports team, they are guaranteed to fucking lose. And all we have to do is bet on the opposite to make that fucking money. Now, I don't know how we can trick him into it, but I'm fairly certain we can get it to work. I'm fairly certain we can get Nick Fuentes to start talking about shit. <laughs> Related to football, maybe some baseball, a little bit of a little bit of hockey. Just, you know, some pocket change bets. But he needs to be spammed with sports opinions until he starts answering for us. That's right. Always bet against Nick chat. <laughs> you've got you've got it right. Oh, I found it amusing how quickly he got cucked on that. That was that was pretty brutal. Literally the next day, he got just shit kicked right out to the curb. Now that's not to say Twitter's a great place. Listen, Elon walked in there. First thing he did, fired a couple of people. He fired the top people, um, namely the woman responsible for most of the banning bullshit. And, of course, their CEO and a bunch of other people. And if you look at videos of Twitter employees talking about what it's like to work at this company, it makes you want to just gouge your fucking ears out. Like their voices. It's so infuriating listening to this. Here's, here's a sample of what a typical Twitter employee is like. Welcome to a day in my life as a Twitter employee. So this past week, went to SF for the first time at a Twitter office, badged in. Honestly, took a moment to just soak everything in. What a blessing. Also started my morning off with an iced matcha from... Oh my God, got into the office. The first thing I did was have some coffee. Kurt. Then I had a meeting, so quickly scheduled one of these little pod rooms, which were so cool. They're yeah, see, that's the difference. If you work at Amazon, the pod they put you in is to prevent you from killing yourself. It's a literal suicide prevention pod. If you work at Twitter, you basically sit in a pod where they give you mochas and uh, kale to eat. Literally noise canceling. Took my meeting, got ready for bunch. Look how delicious this food looks. Oh my goodness, I was so overwhelmed. Then made my way down to this log cabin area. I don't know what this is, but it was really cool. Played some foosball. You know, like when Twitter is not acting right, or they implement some shitty software update, or your account gets banned or suspended and you try to appeal it and nothing seems to ever happen. It's because this bitch is playing foosball and drinking Starbucks. My friends to kind of unwind a bit. Um, also found this really cool meditation room that I thought was super neat. Um, I didn't do any yoga, but they have this yoga room if you are a yogi. So also thought- why, why do you need a yoga room at your business? Why is there a yoga room what is with tech companies and useless shit? That was really cool. Um, had a couple more meetings in the afternoon, had a ton of projects that we needed to knock out. Say hi to my teammates. Um, <laughs> went, to the, went to the library to kind of get some more work done. Obviously had to have our afternoon coffee, so made some espresso. <laughs> it's, her, it's her 14th of the day. That's all she does is just drink coffee. Literally running the clock, drinking, making coffee, walking to coffee, drinking the coffee, cleaning the coffee up. And then before leaving for the day, had some red wine um, that's on tap. Went up to the rooftop and just honestly enjoyed the beautiful weather. So awesome trip. Oh my God. I just, all I do is drink all day. I hang out. I drink red wine from taps and then I hang out on the rooftop contemplating jumping off them. That's my life at Twitter.com. That's the, <laughs> I don't code. I don't know how to code. I just, I just look out over the, the horizon and think, should I just end it here? Is this, is this where it stops? Nobody appreciates what I do because I don't do anything. So I just drink my, my wine on tap and longingly look down 20 stories and think about it. Now with all these firings going on at Twitter, with the CEO getting shit kicked, people talking about um, 
how Elon's going to cut like 75% of the staff. A couple of guys got together and thought, hey, this would be a really good opportunity to fuck with the press because they're stupid. Because the press is full of stupid people. Maybe, maybe what we could do is literally just hang outside the building with boxes and wait for idiots who are reporters to take anything we say seriously. Because they're so stupid, they would never fact check anything ever. We could just hang out front and say ridiculous shit and they'll believe all of it. Just laid off. Uh, which team are you in? I was on engineering. Do you know how many? I don't, I don't know. I no. know my... Nobody knows anything. How did they tell you? My, my director was... Uh, I'm really sorry, by the way. I realized. I went on in Tesla, man. Right. Yeah, me too. Was it your entire team or just individuals? So, uh, so some, some people are in the Zoom meeting and then... And then in the Zoom meeting, uh, you can see Seven. the other people that are in there. Um, who, who, who? Okay. Yeah, yeah, it makes yeah, me worry about the future of democracy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Can, oh, it makes me uh, worry about the future of celebrity conservatorships. Like, uh, would I mean, Britney sorry, happen? Man. Michelle Obama wouldn't have and happened. And Elon Musk Twitter? I don't Elon know, Musk right? This used to be a town square. Yeah, Obama and... 2008 wouldn't have happened. How, who, like, so this is this is a subtle opening, right? So they're out there. They're talking about all getting fired. It's like Michelle Obama wouldn't have happened if Elon owned this place. But of course he didn't. So she did happen. The Obamas happened because Elon wasn't in charge. <laughs> then they ask him for his name. I wish I had that clip where he explains to him his name is Ligma. <laughs> and he spells it for him. But the real fun was the friend, his friend next to him. Like, how over the top can we take this? How ridiculous and stupid can we make this to see if these idiots will believe literally anything we tell them? And they, they would literally believe anything. His own words. What do you make of that? What do you think Twitter will look like? I mean, a free speech is, you know, Nazis saying that, uh, you know, trans women shouldn't, you know, use women's uh, locker rooms, then... Awesome. I guess mission accomplished. We'll see. Listen, I got to touch base with my husband and wife. I got to get out of here. All right. Thank you guys. Sorry, Daniel. Thank you. I've got to touch base. I have to touch base with my husband and my wife. <laughs> Come on. Listen, I got to touch base with my husband and wife. I got to get out of here. All right. I've, I've got to go. Okay. I'm a Twitter employee. I need to go talk to my husband and my wife. Why don't you talk to my friend Ligma? Talk to my friend Ligma next to me about Michelle Obama while I go comfort my husband and wife. By the way, you're all retarded. You're, you all are just immensely retarded. <laughs> it's based, they just stand around with boxes and wait for somebody to come up and be like, hey, what, what the fuck is going on? Oh, yeah, I know. I'm a Twitter employee, sure. Yeah, yeah. Listen, you know, my days consist of me uh, drinking soy and uh, having orgies with uh, trans women. And uh, then I drink some uh, uh, wine on the rooftop with a, a nice lady I met earlier. And then I go home to my wife and my husband. Uh, and uh, the person breaking apart our marriage at the moment is the shoe baron. But I try to get along with him because I work at Twitter.com. Now, while all this is going on, as uh, people are trolling the shit out of the press, as band waves are still happening... You know, we've got the whole Kanye thing that's going on. <laughs> Elon decides he wants to start, like, fact-checking politicians for fun. And he jumps, into, he jumps into it fucking just right in the deep end. So here's Hillary Clinton. The Republican Party and its mouthpieces now regularly spread hate and deranged conspiracy theories. It is shocking, but not surprising. That violence is the result. As citizens, we hold them accountable for their words and their actions as follows. <laughs> Musk responds, uh, there's a tiny possibility there might be more to this story than meets the eye. Now, the story they're talking about is uh, Nancy Pelosi's husband, who apparently got beaten with a hammer. Uh, you know, And the, the story that was linked to, the actual article itself, speculates that uh, what happened in that household was Nancy Pelosi's husband uh, hired like a gay male hooker. And for whatever reason, some drug-fueled confusion, maybe a little bit of uh, monkeypox-addled anger, uh, he started beating him with a hammer for that reason. 
I don't I I know the whole Nancy Pelosi's husband thing's a hot topic right now, but I don't know much about it. All I know is there's allegedly a police call where he says his his friend David and that the window was broken from the inside. But aside from that, I don't know much. I just find it infinitely entertaining that Elon Musk is out there spreading the word. <laughs> He's, he did this to Joe Biden, too. Biden was tweeting about something, and uh, Elon was like, no, wait wait a second, Joe. Put your ice cream down. Have you heard about, have you considered the possibility that this might have been gay sex that went wrong, Mr. President? <laughs> oh. Holy shit. What a wacky month. You've got Kanye West saying he's going to buy Parler. You've got Elon Musk who's bought Twitter. You've got uh, you've got Wings that's got his relationship blown apart by a shoe salesman. Ralph getting embarrassed by his exes. Going into No Ralph November, which will drive him batty and shit or insane. You've got Nick out there thinking he's on his way back when he's clearly not. Just uh, not not going, not going very well right now for certain individuals. Certain certain individuals. Now let me let me take a look here, because again, uh, thank you by the way, chat for all the itty bitty spam. I'm seeing on post and chat buds that it, it looks like Ralph had a screaming fit over that when you spammed chat with itty bitty tiny baby dicks. <laughs> it seems like that might have upset him a, a little bit, a, a little bit. Now Ralph has been, oh, he's been he's been he's been uh, pretty mean to me, you know. I'm just I'm just an old man. I'm I'm washed over here on uh, on the YouTube's. Uh, my viewership I've I've sunk down to what am I now? Well, let me see on my live stream. Uh, concurrent viewers 8100. I'm an 8100 Andy chat. It's very sad. It's very sad. But I want to tell the whole story, the story of an underdog. All right, that's what we're dealing with. And since I've got Ralph's attention, and I'm not going to be paying any attention to him from this point onwards. I'd like to close out with this, where he likes to talk about metrics, because it's funny to me. So let me let me pull this one up. Now, you're looking at a website called Cozy.gov. Uh, this is a website Nick Fuentes runs. And this is his little Twitter has fallen clink uh, stream. Now, this is one of his most popular streams that he's had for like the last six months. And if you direct your attention down here to what I'm highlighting, Underneath uh, the date and the time, that's peak viewers. 7,100. 7,100 peak viewers on his most popular stream, Ralph. Now, I know. I know Jim's just an old man. But let's run with that. Here I am, by myself, with nothing but my wit and my shit posts. Sick old man with my cancer. Pulling in more viewers than Nicholas J. Fuentes, who's got the backing of Washington insiders and uh, uh, Bitcoin millionaires who built himself his own website, his own little fiefdom. And you're still getting your ass kicked by a cancer ridden, washed old man. Oh, that's fucking embarrassing, champ. That's kind of embarrassing when you really, when you say it like that, Ralph, it, it doesn't sound as good as you make it sound, does it? Old, old cancer man, Jim over my, uh, oh my God, I'm coughing. Uh, oh, Cancer riddled Wash Jim pulling in more viewership than Washington insiders and Bitcoin millionaires, Ralph. Embarrassing. Shameful. It's, <laughs> it's a little bit of horror to end the day on for you before Halloween, Ralph. Now we have one one quick little thing. One quick little thing. DSP related news. Now I know you think, oh god, am I gonna talk about his car dealership thing? where he got suckered into paying like $8,000 for spark plugs because he doesn't know how machines operate? No. I understand I understand his garage bill got leaked, and everybody found out that DSP doesn't understand how automobiles work, and then went in on a bagathon. But what I want to talk about is DSP has put a video out asking people to come interview him. DSP, <clears throat> oh my God, ah, oh, cancer man. DSP is out there asking for a sit-down interview with anybody that's interested. Even said he's open to having them email him. And chat, what I'm thinking is, there's nobody better for this job than me. But I'm going to need your help. <laughs> I'm going to need your help, chat. Because DSP 
he's not my biggest fan. Now, I, I used to make fun of him on Brightside Bob, did streams making fun of him, and they're still funny to me. But I did do a catfishing video where I exonerated him by showing it was complete bullshit. So that should kind of like, that should equal out. But I want to interview DSP. I have so many burning questions for him about Sons of Kojima, about just everything that's gone on. He wants a fair interview. I am all for that shit, DSP. I will give you a fair interview. I'll ask the hard questions, but they'll be fair. All right, everybody likes tough but fair questions. And I'll give you an opportunity to give your answers in full, uninterrupted. It will be very professional. I won't use mean words. I won't swear at you. Uh, we can stay away from topics that you think are too personal. I don't care about your 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 relationships. I want to talk about the trolling and the internet legacy. So, Chet, if you get a chance <laughs> to email DSP, I want you to tell him. Jim wants to interview you. Jim wants to sit down. He wants to sit down and interview you, DSP, and get your side of the story. All right, because I'm, I got to admit, you know, you've done a lot of goofy shit, Phil, but you've outlived so much stuff. All your haters have fallen by the wayside. You are the detractor destroyer, Phil, and we all have to respect that on some level. Sure, you may have spent a hundred thousand bajillion dollars on wrestling phone games, and you had a very, you know, public bankruptcy and all of that, and yet you're still standing, still collecting those super berries, still got a show, still got an audience. I don't, I mean, the Sons of Kojima, they're not around. They built a water well and disappeared, but you are, Phil. I want that interview. I want to sit down and talk that talk. That's right. That's right, Chad. He felted the haters. So if we could, if we could make that happen, that would be great. I would love to clear, uh, like, to end the year. How fun would it be if on uh, the year of the Chud, the very last stream, the December stream for year of the Chud, if that very last stream was the DSP interview, where we get down to talk about the real issues, that would be, I think the absolute perfect capstone on the craziness that this entire year has been. We would have started with Jack Murphy, worked our way through all the craziness with America First and Ethan Ralph, got up to Wings and uh, Acer Thorn, and then finally closed it out by getting Phil to open up and answer questions and talk about all the things that he wants to talk about. So I'm throwing my hat in that ring. And if you know anything about me, I've got... Plenty of hats, which, by the way, are on sale right now on the Medicare Selfie store. Link in the description. Don't forget the Halloween merchandise as well. Get yourself an attractive boo shirt or a coffee mug. So I'm willing to throw that hat into the ring. We'll see if it works, Chad. I want to close December out with that interview. That's what my goal is. <laughs> we'll see if it works or not. I don't know if it will. It's a very... It's a very true and honest statement from me, and uh, I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. I can, my cancer-riddled ass can stick around for two more months to get this interview, and that will close that internet legacy out. Mine, not Phil's. He'll be around for another 20 decades. We'll close mine out with that DSP interview. I think that's perfect. What a fairy tale ending that would be. <laughs> will it work? I don't know. We'll see. Oh, by the way, I wanted to give it a shout out to, of uh, interest, uh, drew my art for the morning with Medicare stuff, the background that I use, uh, but also did a year of the Chud thing, which I really liked, uh, but I had to go with the thing my, my wife drew, I'm sure you can understand, uh, but as you can see, it's got everybody there, there's little Michael Alberto trying to act innocent, but he's really hellspawn himself, all right, I can't say what Michael Alberto is known for on YouTube. Uh, but the acronym would be uh, TND. <laughs> That's what my, that and lists of judges. Don't ask. You don't want to be, you know, just don't even ask, chat. <laughs> don't even ask. Got a, a barn burning. I believe that's a, a moon in the background, but I'm not sure what's on that moon, chat. I'm not 100% certain what's up on that moon. Could be, 
Could be something looks insect-like. Maybe somebody in chat <clears throat> has an idea of what that might be. Not 100% certain, though. Couldn't couldn't tell you. Uh, but I wanted to show it because it is it is good art. I did see it, but I had to go with the little the little voodoo doll. The little voodoo doll with the pins and the, the scissors and all that stuff. Oh, what an October. So we didn't die in a nuclear hellfire. Life goes on. We'll probably make it through November too. And maybe even December as well. Two more months in the year of the chud. Two more months of uh, content talking about goofy shit. Now, there's a... How do I say this? I can't play the song on YouTube. There's no fucking way it's possible. Uh, there's a song I played Saturday morning related to an internet uh, individual uh, that I, I want to do some, some, <laughs> some looking into, let's say. Some looking into uh, that I think would be entertaining uh, based on Based on the song itself, which had uh, a, just a fire track. It was great shit. So we'll have, we'll have some good stuff for November coming up. Hopefully DSP in December would be fucking amazing if that uh, can be pulled off. We'll see. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, let me see here. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call them. Because it's so stupid, why not? Well, I hope you had a wonderful month. I hope you had that, that chud energy, that positivity to carry you through the month. And uh, hopefully it carries you through the, the rest of the year. Enjoy your Halloweens tomorrow. And if you happen to go to a house that has a bowl of carrots, you probably should take one. Otherwise, there's going to be a drone swarm over your head. It's a little It's a little tip from Jimmy for you. It's just me throwing that out there for you. Now, I have uh, super chats to read. So for those who want to stick around, I'll, I'll read through those. For everybody else, uh, enjoy uh, the rest of your weekend and enjoy the holiday tomorrow. Uh, have fun uh, getting or giving candy. I don't know what you're going to be doing. Maybe you're like a, a, a 40-year-old incel neat running around in a turtle's costume. Stealing all the candy from children. I don't know. If you are, film it and send it to me, and I'll play it on the morning show. Because that would be fantastic. Uh, otherwise, we'll get into the spooky chats, chat. Uh, for everybody else, have a good one. For everybody sticking around, uh, give me one second to pull this up. Because, of course, it can't be a simple system. It has to be complicated and a pain in my ass. i get down to the bottom here and read all of them. Read all the spooky chats. Make sure I don't I don't miss anything. Half of which I'm sure are going to be highly offensive, because <laughs> people are getting they're getting uh, a little too wild over on Odyssey. <laughs> or you can say whatever the fuck you want. Come back over to YouTube. Everybody's got to be real clever about uh, about how they want to phrase things. Okay. From Michael Alberto. Oh my God, we're starting off with. Uh, TND himself. Uh, Nick Fuentes will go to Ralph Mania as soon as his Twitter is reinstated. That's right, folks. You heard it here first. Nick Fuentes is not going to be going to Ralph Mania. I think that's uh, Michael's subtle way of telling us that Nick is never getting his Twitter account back. From A. Warren Johnson. When is the next high chud energy AI art contest for either the Coterie Cozy or the Hollerbox Hootenanny? Also, where do we send submissions? You know, maybe I'll do, like, an art contest on the morning thing, uh, but probably not on your chud. I, I have to give it, like, some thought on how I'd arrange it. I've done art contests in the past where I gave out, like, Steam uh, gifts. I think, like, first place was, like, 150. Uh, second place was, like, 100. And third was, like, 50. And then a couple $20 winners. Uh, but at the time, if I remember right, like, Steam had done this weird shit where you couldn't gift games anymore. And if you wanted to give money, you had to give, like, people, like, actual cards bought in stores. So it was a massive pain in the ass. I think they changed all that now, though. So it might be easier to do. From Minute World, play the video I sent you in DMs on post, you moon cricket. I, I, I don't know. This feels like, this is like a polyop is what this feels like. It's going to be dolphin porn if I, if I go to click that. From Anthony Lampley, uh, Jim, pray for my friend Trey Sheldon. 
He's a queer Jew who knows the interest in anti-Semitism anti is compounding. hey -o. from JDT. Have you read Kengen Ashura? If you enjoyed Ippo, you'll love it. Love from Cape Town. Well, I probably pronounced it horribly, but it does sound familiar. So more than likely, I probably have. But it all blends together at this point. I read so much manga at this point. I, 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 it's become one continuous storyline with way too many main characters. From Veggie Bat. Has Nick Fuentes ever played around in the McDonald's ball pit yet? I'm fairly certain he has. From Drew McTug, uh, do you have any anime recommendations, Jim? Any anime recommendations? Let me think if I've seen anything that's really good lately. I don't know. I've been I've been so caught up in doing other things, I haven't really watched a ton of anime lately. I mean, even the manga I've kind of uh, lessened reading at the moment, because I'm just kind of up to other things. Uh, Dad's Anime Podcast. I still want you on my anime podcast, but your health is more important. Enjoy the Fediverse and give out some candy tomorrow. From Bling Blong Dinga 2, Fa Na <laughs> Fa Ni Ni Ri Up. I think there's, I, I'm probably supposed to say that differently. We'll get a phonetical slur out of it somehow. From Slurp Derp, Thought I could say anything on Ellen's bird app and got banned for calling the Canadian PM a criminal and an N-word. Also, I bought a shirt. Well, I hope you enjoy the shirt. From Veggie Bad, Ralph spends more time reading the chat of an upcoming stream than he does on his own son. He also spends more time reading his own chat, or uh, reading this chat, than help taking his own mother to dialysis that could possibly save her life. <laughs> He's probably screaming right now about that one. From the belch off, with a casino dead, do you think the Rage Pig and Catboy will start to recover from the damage done? Uh, no. It's self-inflicted. Like, uh, Nick Fuentes, just in the last week, uh, there's a guy on Twitter called BAP, or it's an organization, BAP. I'm not 100% certain on this. I've just kind of, I've watched a bit of it from other people covering it. But, like, he's in Twitter spaces screaming at people about Jews, <laughs> and, like, just going off the deep end. And then at the same time he's hanging out with Laura Loomer, it makes no sense. Like I don't, I don't think there's coming back from from everything that's been going on. Uh, maybe Nick could work out some brilliant way of doing it, but there's no way Ralph is going to. From Herp Luza, Jim, you need to play Snoot Game. It's a VN parody of that garbage snow, uh, snowy PS5 game, Goodbye Volcano High, that never came out. It's actually pretty good. From the music ain't on. It's Ralph in Mexico. Get that bog hot out of my third world country. He'll eat all our food and then drop us to a fourth world country like Tanzania. From Little Bubs, have you seen the fi or the Fatal 4-Way? It's four autistic gentlemen fighting each other anime style in a damp cave. It's an old internet gem. Are you talking about, there? there's a video uh, where it's like four dudes in a fedora. And one guy's got like a leather jacket on. And it's got like Mortal Kombat music over it. Is that what you're talking about? Because I probably have seen it. Uh, from Trig. Prior to KF shutdown, Noel told ISPs I can't sneed more than 20 times, only to have his plea dismissed by Keffels, the skinwalker pressing a knee into Noel's neck, who said it takes a heck of a lot of oxygen to sneed. From 4 Chanimal, it doesn't matter how hard you barbecue at Rage Pig, it still tastes like shame and failure. From Hoodie Allen, hey Jimothy, are you excited about Tariq's next documentary about Christian called Barb Breaking? I am super excited for that. From Nash McGraw, it's Moon Cricket time, Cricket Zord. Got a couple of emoticons here from uh, a waifu in VR at NRU. Legato Mati, Bayonetta 3 has been canceled. That was my first super chat like five years ago. That was the winner of our discontent, but at least the game came out, right? Uh, well, it did certainly come out. From Charles Sammons, recently diagnosed with rectal adenocarcinoma. Hope your treatments are going well. See you in the infusion room. Good luck, Jim. Well, I will, I will see you there with bells on as I sit around for two hours. Uh, Mr. Wukong at NRU. A lot more emoticons from Kosk. Brother me blank. Here's your money weatherman. Be thankful it isn't Beelzebuck's. Do not use Discord and keep Jade caged in fear of the shoe baron. I'm never letting a shoe baron anywhere in my fucking vicinity. From Furfang Supreme, for Halloween, be sure to check out the uh, Moorman song, Nibberstein. From Joshua Roberts, I am not crutch for the weak, or I am not a crutch for the weak. I am a cudgel for the strong. St. Augustine. 
from I and Jarrett. Acer, Acer Thorn Stream went. It is coming. No one throwing up uh, uh, emojis about uh, moon crickets. From JToki12, happy Halloween, Chud Buds. My 2022 started off rough, but I feel the Chud energy helping me make or helping me more and more. Stay strong, Kings. From Arthur J. Mercado, hey, Daddy Jim, here's some shekels for your smokes. Thanks for making my birthday with your glorious stream. Love you. By the way, who's a bigger local, Cyrax, Dayton, Hypernova, or Ralph? I'm not super familiar with Cyrax, and I don't think I've ever heard of Dayton, Hypernova. I guess I know what I'm watching tonight. Dayton Hypernova? Did he get named after like a shitty fucking fighting game? Hypernova. Is that a real last name or is that his username? I'll have to, I'll have to take a look. From Hundito, I spent more on this super chat than Ethan Ralph did on his son. By the way, the super chat was for $5. From Finite, George Alexander Yard is going down. Woo. Hashtag Fields Party Palace. Justice for Jamie. From Mario Carter 13, Ralph is the stealthiest in the sector. No one even questioned why Sam Smith was suddenly 300 pounds singing about doing something unholy with a troon. From Over Caffeinated, can you play the song The R or RCMP is Always Chasing Me for the break? Well, if I had seen that, maybe I could have. From Jacked the Whacked, we all know you smoke cigs, but do you ever engage in weed nowadays? Keep to the good stuff, Jimbo. Um, actually, no. <laughs> I'm I'm clean living. I know that sounds ridiculous because I smoke cigarettes and you'd be like, well, what the fuck are you doing? Uh, but I don't drink uh, really anymore and I don't smoke weed. <laughs> far too much, far too much fucking medication uh, to start mixing in uh, illicit substances. It would just turn it into a fucking nightmare. From Ian Jarrett, should have just had it where they get a close, a gunshot goes off and you just fall out the front door. Oh, for a setup? That would have been nice too. From Rocks, Happy Halloween, Jim. Can I get an F for CRISPR Tech in the chat, please? Oh uh, well, I can I can pause to get you an F, Rocks. Uh, uh, Rocks would like an F in chat for CRISPR Tech. Chat, uh, are you willing to oblige? We'll see how it goes. We'll see if Chat is willing to oblige. Give him a second here. I know there's a bit of a delay. Somebody in chat, clean living is wholesome. Yeah, as I literally smoke my cigarettes. But I figure, fuck, you know, in for a penny, in for a pound. <laughs> What's, it's not going to change shit at this point. Uh, there there you go, Rox. If you're still around. I don't know, this was earlier in the day, that, or earlier in the stream that you sent this, but a lot of Fs going through. A lot of Fs going through in chat. From Hero Yui 45 Medica California is always on fire. I wouldn't have noticed if Russia nuked us. From NPC user 1993, mods ban anyone mentioning shoes. Real talk. From Worm God, happy Halloween, Jim. Enjoy your carrots. From Bingus Dingus, tell Jade to make more videos on her <laughs> on the Kill All Pedos channel. That's some quality content. Well, I did just watch their newest video, uh, which is up, uh, which is which is a Ralph video. There was a me video, and now there's a Ralph video, and I found both of them entertaining. Field Gray for a emoticon of a, a pumpkin. Uh, the DSP Gaming. So you talk about wings, but not me. Well, we, I just talked about you if that was the DSP. Para doesn't care. The shoe bowl strikes again. Upload Root Bane. What do you think about the boys' new season? I uh, haven't had a chance to watch it. Uh, from A, thanks for the stream. Love you, bro. Michael, uh, pause. I can't say the last name. And I'll butcher it, Michael P. I'm just going to call you Michael P. Happy Halloween, Jim. Just wanted to say that Bibble and Royal Gunt Guard are the biggest oxygen thieves on Twitter. From Trudeca13. I think I read this one, but it was a bigger one for 130. Uh, yeah, this was the Wizards of the Coast and their beta booster box. Uh, bullshit for a thousand a pop. Yeah, I, I got out of Magic the Gathering um, right around... <laughs> it would have been a very long time ago. It became a very big money hat money game. I mean, the foils were bad enough, and the Planeswalkers, and Super Ultra, uh, Special Rares, and just it, it just everything kind of fucked it all up. So, I, you know, I can't ever see myself uh, engaging in it again, paying money for it again. Uh, Spag and, what is this? Spag and High? Big ups to the Shoe Sultan, the Croc Kingbin, and Boot Baron. Simon Simons. Al-based Bundy serving up some cuckold a la mode to Richard. 
Hope you and yours are doing well, Jim. Farm's coming back up soon. Halloween has some hope. I did see that. Josh got the uh, Tor node or the Tor version up, and now he's working on the ClearNet version. I don't know how that's going. I think he said something about having to compile databases or doing some shit that could take anywhere from like four hours to 40 hours and was hoping he'd have it up tonight or tomorrow. Uh, we'll see. Fighting that fight out there. It's, it's literally every tech company comes after him. From uh, some Fugat, uh, pray for Josh. The whole world is against him. Yep, yep. Uh, Ram Badger, the Cobb Buller, Lord Chippy Dip. Oh my God, that's morning after kill. I used to watch his Borderland tutorials and gameplay videos. I love that guy. I'm happy for him, LOL. A woo, Daddy Jim, a woo. From Terry Coyle. Instead of castrated, Wings has been fat-strated. <laughs> From Wings07, Richard got cucked for a pair of Nikes. Real talk. That is factually what happened. I don't know how he's going to ever get around that. From The Interest, Odyssey, or Odyssey refuses to let me buy their crypto, so I can't fund MWM. Here's some lowly USD instead for you to share with Susan so she can buy more Franzia. From Raccoon Friend, I can believe Jay has done this, LOL. I loved Morning After Kill Borderland videos and Road to 30 series. From Brolio Cornholio, Halloween is my birthday. Can I get a happy birthday, Jimbo? Been listening for years. Remember when the FBI released info on the finders? Truans just go after children publicly now. Crazy times. NNRU. Uh, well, happy birthday, Bruholio Cornholio. From Sofu. Hi, Daddy Jim. Love your streams. Just got your hat in the mail today. Gleefully encouraging you're scaring the children in the neighborhood. Well, that's what Halloween is for. From Doubles. Hey, O'Shag Nasty. I'll make sure to watch all your streams. My one regret is not being there enough for my grandfather when he had cancer. No smoking. I don't know if you're saying he got cancer without smoking or if you're telling me to stop smoking. I've heard that opinion. <laughs> I've got that. Why are you still smoking? Uh, because I'm so fucked. What difference does it make? And then he'd be like, well, if that's the case, why don't you just drink and do weed? Because I literally, the medicine I need to function would probably go haywire. I, I don't know what mega doses of the shit that I'm on, how that would react if I started knocking back some car cough. I, maybe the weed would be fine. Maybe. <laughs> but I think if I, I was like, yeah, hey, doc, you know, hey, do hey doc, uh, I mean, put down the radiation gun and the infusion shit and, uh, you know, put all that medicine down. I'm just, I want to get real drunk. What's your opinion on taking 14 pills twice daily and then adding a full bottle of Kharkov to it. Does that sound, sound smart? I'm using my thinking thoughts. From Zorketh88, can you tell me, or can you tell my buddy John that Randy loves him? Holy shit, John. Your buddy Randy loves you. From Giantus Admirer, Jim, what is your take on the Mario movie trailer? I actually liked it. I, I thought it was fine. I, I thought I was expecting it to be a thousand times worse than what it turned out to be. From James Smith, Apparently, the woman that broke her back at TwitchCon found out she was pregnant but couldn't keep it because of the surgery. Also, hi, Piggy. Oh, can you imagine the size of the lawsuit? Is that true? I, I gotta look at chat. Chat, is that true to the chick who broke her back? Did she lose a baby because of it? There's no way. There's no way they'd get sued into the dirt. I Fucking delay. I've got to wait for the delay. That seems like a hell of a story chat okay now they're catching up I'm just waiting for anybody to say no that's bullshit or yes that's actually true oh somebody said heard her being about her being pregnant but not about losing it people are saying yes that is so fucking brutal holy shit are we talking about the chick that fell? Like, she jumped off something into a pit that had, like, foam balls covering concrete. And then, like, right on her, like, her tailbone. It looked really bad. It looked like it would fucking hurt a lot. <laughs> you know what? I don't I don't know who she is, but I hope she, like, she sues the shit out of them. I hope she wins. Chat, well, how would that be? How would that be for an end of the year? Twitch goes bankrupt. Because her ass got slammed so hard on concrete, she lost her kid. Like, what price would you put on that? Oh, the sympathy from the jury? 
Rakana could stream it, the civil case. No more Twitch streaming. Now, now people are saying, is it this one? Are you telling me more than one person broke their back at fucking TwitchCon? What incompetent idiot set that up? Like, I thought, you know, like, well, I remember the Tumblr thing with the ball pit and everybody laughed because it was so goofy. But they had the excuse that there were a bunch of Tumblrettes and, you know, it was like amateur and it wasn't meant to be a big event. Like, TwitchCon has all this funding behind it. You're telling me they didn't have, like, a, a safety specialist to check that out? Somebody saying somebody broke their ankle. Yes, it's true. She did uh, break her tailbone or back. Wow, that is fucking dark. Our Halloween stream went from fun and laughs to dark really quick. Okay, let's let's keep rolling. Uh, Dan R. Hansen, the show chic strikes again. Wings 07. Wings getting absolutely shat on. I love it. Strike on Drifter. I just bought a 4 out of 5 black beanie, Daddy Jim. From Bubblegum Gun. Annie 6 has entered chat. Blessed are his logs. Uh, Brock Bravo with a little cat emoji. From Andy Warski, hello Jim. I'd advise you, or I'd advise you check out the mini or mini series Dinotopia. I guarantee you'll love it. Nothing comes close to a nice line of coke on your desk and talking CGI dinosaurs on your screen. Well, Andy, I will check out Dinotopia. From Mobile Crusader, I can't decide what is funnier: the fact that Wings got cucked or the fact that she didn't even bother to upgrade. From Michael Sambo, is this music from a Carpenter movie? I don't know what it's from, but it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect. Perfect soundtrack. Uh, Josh Sketch Show. Jim, I broke my personal squat record today. Three sets of or three sets of 15 reps of 365 pounds. And later in the evening, I asked a girl out I've liked for a long while and got told to fuck off. Feels bad, but happy Halloween. All right, here's what you do. All right, this gym shit not working out. There's this guy. Maybe you've heard of him. The Shoe Baron. And apparently... All you've got to do to get some pussy is get like uh, get a girl a really nice pair of Reeboks. All right, so take part of your gym membership fees, find out what her what her fucking shoe size is, and uh, uh, buy her a pair of Reeboks, and she'll probably marry you. All right, that's what the shoe baron told me. From Dermicky, uh, what up, Jim? We can't wait to hear how you mispronounce my name this time. Happy Halloween. Let's see, Dare Icky Mimi. <laughs> <laughs> Der Muku? I don't know. It's always going to be butchered. It's always going to be fucking slaughtered, isn't it? From Young Sloshy. Love you, Daddy Jim. From Drugstoner420. Nice seeing you stream, Jim. Hope Wings has a stroke. Uh, Josh Sketch Show. Hey, Jim. How hyped are you for Pikmin 4? And which one of uh, which one is your favorite in the series? Uh, one or two would be. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to Pikmin 4. I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be good. From K Vibes. Look here, listen. Imagine being the one who had to hand wash Ralph's soiled pants because there are no washing machines in Mexico. Happy Halloween, Chud Buds. From Alan Cruz, Mr. Mediker, thanks for the awesome content. I have a black Chud Bud hat, a maroon Bully of the Week hat, and I am now a baby daddy. Thank you, sir. From Taggerman, have you ever heard of, uh, or, or have you heard of, or played Cruelty Squad? Easily the best game of 2021, bar none. Yes, I have played it. From uh, JS. Jim, could you add fitted hats to your merch? <laughs> Listen, every like as far as merchandising goes, I'm I'm uh like at the mercy of whatever whatever shop front I'm using. I know some people do like retail arbitrage and drop shipping. Uh, some people work out deals with manufacturers where they they have a, a bulk order sent to them and then they personally mail it out. And with that kind of level of control, you could probably add stuff. Uh, but if the company itself doesn't have it, I, I can't really do a lot. Like, I, for a while, I used Teespring, um, but they got mad about the Bully of the Week thing, um, and everything went downhill after that. Uh, now I use Selfie, and they've got a pretty decent selection. I, I could try to find fitted hats, but I don't know how it would go. But I'm not doing drop shipping. Like, that's a that's a level of complicated I don't need. I'll be, I'll be a lazy boy instead. I'm going to be a lazy boy instead. And just, and just put up those, look at those great t-shirts. Look at those amazing hats. And look at, look at see, even the morning show stuff is nice. <laughs> That's my level of involvement. From uh, Drone Furry, 
I'm sorry, Drone Fury. Uh, check out AIDS by Method of Destruction, MOD. It's equally offensive, but not Lunar Locust rap music. I dedicate that song to Paul Pelosi from Bromity Blank. I remember you mentioned in the past that Jade was really into watching Wings being a lolco. What were her thoughts on the Shoe Baron LOL? Uh, I'd have to ask her. I, I actually haven't asked her what she thought of that. Uh, but yes, uh, back in the day when she was really into Gears and uh, playing all that shit, I was, I was I was kind of surprised to hear that she had like a, a history and <laughs> she liked to fuck with him. So, um, yeah, you know what? I will ask after the stream what she thinks of the Shoe Baron. Foxcat Gaming. Can't stay tonight, so I'll catch the re-upload, but I wanted to uh, say the Year of the Chud has been a good one. Hey, or Heil Jim, and may the potato harvest be good. From Not Sui, can we have, or can we call him the Sneaker Pimp? I like that. It's a nice play on words, right? Because he's, well, no, you know what? It isn't. I had at first glance, like, Sneaker Pimp, he's sneaking around, and then uh, he's acting like a pimp. But this dude ain't sneaking. Like, he's, he's directly telling this guy, I am fucking your wife. No, he is a shoe baron. All right, a baron. Sophisticated, rich, powerful. Out there, in your face, he doesn't care. He doesn't sneak around. He fucks your wife, and he waves at you while he does it. <laughs> he asks you how the weather is as he's plowing her. From Alan Cruz, do you plan on dressing up for Halloween, sir? <laughs> yeah, I'll wheel myself out there as a skeleton. Uh, uh, hey, look at Hey, kids. What, what are you? What are you, mister? Cancer man. I'm cancer man. From King N64 1994. I swear, Jim, Nick Fuentes is a skinny Eric Cartman, especially with Jaden as butters. By the way, Graf is cool. Or, or by the way, Graf, cool it with the bands. How can I make fun of them directly if you ban them? From uh, James Thomason. Hey, Jimbo, find out about you through Porcelain. Curious to hear your take on... Uh, I don't even know. What is... Nick is not green. Making a video telling his subs to mass report Sneeko. His excuse is Sneeko is just so reprehensible. Gay. I don't know who Nick is not green is, uh, but I'm not into the whole reporting and flagging shit. Now listen, I think half the fun of the internet is being able to argue with each other and go around and uh, yell at each other and say stupid and offensive shit to each other. Uh, that's why you'll notice my chat doesn't have moderators. You know, you're not you're not getting banned. I have people come into the pre-stream and spam me with all sorts of shit, talking crap to me, but I don't ban them. Not not <laughs> I don't I don't flag them down. Uh, I think, I, I, I don't know. It's just, it's a weird mentality. It used to be that that just wasn't how it was, but I don't know, man. People got a little too sensitive about everything. From Pancant, hey, Jim, I just got a raise at my job. Now I'm going from poverty wage to low minimum wage. Enjoy what little I have from a real knicker to you, my potato knicker. From Red Sea, with shoes you lose. From Giantess Admirer, I learned my BA degree in art studio advice, Jim. Well, I, I am not an artist. I can't sing, can't play a musical instrument, can't draw to save my life. I know none of those things. <laughs> I, I would suggest asking somebody who does. A BA degree in arts or studio art. Studio art. In, in studio art. I, I don't know. Hopefully you make lots of money. Go to like a big city and then and then upsell them on shit. Just, just make, pull it out of your ass. That's my advice to you and your studio art. Be like, listen, I have a BA in studio art. I can help you decorate your millionaire loft uh, apartment in New York City by buying these plants that I specially raised that are all $5,000. But trust me, they're artistic. That's why they cost so much. From Ace0017, rip with a hard R. From Sanch, the background music is from the movie John Carpenter's The Thing. Well, there's the answer for the guy that asked earlier. From Silby, uh, uh, we got a Y. From Dinker the Clanker, while Shoe Guy really has or really is a piece of shit, Wings needs to man up. From James Smith, Musk wants people to pay to keep their check mark. I can hear a certain heavy boy yelling and talking or taking his sunglasses off in the distance. Uh yes. Yes, he'd be very upset. From Mousy, Shame Kink. From Joe Master575, longtime fan of you since 2014 with the Gamergate days. Thanks for the hilarious content. Well, you're welcome. From NCG Goggles. Sweep it up, Jannies. It's over. It's not looking good. From Dan R. Hansen. Shoe shike or shoe shoe chic drilling for oil. From Parzival 3000. Me and my buddy Donnie love you. Rip Wingo Marriage. From R3 or RS3 T Cool Guy. 
It boggles my mind how we could or how he could tolerate that, let alone enable it. I knew Wings had mental problems, but god damn it's worse than anyone thought. I have no idea. <laughs> Literally no idea how he's not screaming in rage right now. How he's not just Literally just punching the walls. You'd think he'd be just going mental, but he's not. Or at least I don't know if he is. It's like it's weird. there's this weird gap of like two weeks. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. From Worm God, mods, go ahead and put the word Adidas on Autobahn. <laughs> From SR, keep in mind, I do not joke around. I do not giggle. I do not try to have fun. I do not try to laugh. But anyone trying to give advice, by the way. Pat Smith, Year of the Chud, more like Year of the Chode. to my right wings. From Harry Dickshaft, great great name, Wings and Ralph have more than one thing in common, apparently, especially in the weight and the lack of length. Wings Has Wings been to Portugal? I don't believe he has. From Astro, respect, uh, Jesse P.S. is late and gay. From Beer Force, just when you uh, think these people's stories have run their course, something happens. Chris Chan, now Wings, you can't write this stuff. From Not Suey, when a Discord mod is a step up for you, just end it. Also, if they never consummated the marriage, is it still cucking? Oh, that's like, it's like a Chinese riddle. It's like Sphinx shit. <laughs> is it, have you been cucked if you've never consummated? I don't, I'm going to say yes. Yes, it's still cucking. But I, 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 I don't know. Maybe we'd have to get like a council of people together to discuss this. From Project or Prodigal Stunna, Ashton, a $10,000. <laughs> Ashton, a $10,000 from Signal Boot. Whoa! From Mer from Mega Man, Bibble was right, Munchausen. Kill all pedos. Jim, did you see they're making like three new Silent Hill games, including a Silent Hill 2 remake? What are the chances Konami will include Ralph's gut as a monster? It would be terrifying. Absolutely horrific. From Frostback, itty bitty teeny weeny Memphis Micropini. Rickzilla, Ralph has a baby carrot confirmed. Giantess admirer, your dad often tricked you during your childhood. Well, <laughs> play some scary pranks i suppose the whole finger knives thing is still a vivid memory from spike strat 13 ralph is a chooper caca from fab or fabrizio rufio i want some of those kiwi farm morale patches you can't buy them y'all need to learn how to grift harder from ram badger it's not coom ethan andrews from one ethan to another itty bitty from cloud dos teddy bar Doing God's work out there, Icarus Pliskin. I'm in the med fighting Russian, or I'm in the med fighting Russians. Can't believe I caught you live, Jim. Well, I got internet. What luck? Here's money for cancer. <laughs> well, thank thank you for uh, paying to inflict me with more of it. <laughs> Just love. Make sure to put that five dollar doctor, please, please. I need I need you to scrape a sample off that tumor over there and directly inject it. Here's five dollars from Colin Stevens. The only way Kokeski can recover is to fly to Cuba and beat Ralph on live stream. From King of Broken Bones. Don't worry, Ralph. Your wife can give you all the attention you need. Nick is sure the greatest partner a guy can ever have. From Deus 3. Uh, Rape Pig. Crisis King and Take My Wife. Sui. From JS. Ralph's whimpering is from when he hung a classmate's dog in grade school. Or maybe it's from when him and his dad put puppies in their own oven to warm up. I've heard both those stories. <laughs> And listen, I like, so there's a lot of shit I'll say about Ralph, but like, it's hard for me to believe that those two are true. Like, there's a line, right? And the idea that like, Ralph the puppy hanger and cooking puppies in ovens shit, <laughs> even for me, it's come on, I'm like, I, 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 I'm not buying that. Uh, from Hun Ditto, if Ralph is being honest about not being hard, it means he has the dysfunction, LOL. From Azoth, or Azathoth. Uh, Jim, why aren't you using the little animations in your intermissions that were there uh, when Josh made the podcast with you? Well, I actually was a guest on uh, Josh's podcast. So any animations or whatever you saw up on screen was stuff that he had made. From CJ Man 2112 did you see where's the local art that uh, Chud Bear made? And did you see Ralph's reaction to his character? Um, let me let me just take a look here. Now, I know we've still got, what, still got 4,800 viewers. So you know what? I'm going to go and I'm going to shill it. I'm going to shill somebody else's stuff for once. Oh, my God, what's happening? Is the apocalypse hit? Well, first, let me say, everybody loves my hats, okay? You all love my fucking hats. But now that you brought this up in Super Chat, let me let me fucking capture it if I can do this right. So, uh, Chud Buds, which is chudbuds.lol, 
backslash about backslash merch is where you'd find this. Uh, made an art poster that apparently uh, Ralph is very upset about, uh, but it's actually really well done. Uh, if you take a look, it should be on screen. Where's Loco? With literally every single internet personality you could think of uh, in modern times is on here. Even 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 I'm there blowing my fucking head off. You got like a there's Jarbo holding up a boulder. You've got a uh, uh, Bibble contemplating where his life is at because he's only got uh, is that Bibble twenty viewers? I don't even know. Can't even can't even recognize him. There's a there's Handy getting knocked up by Salt Poppy. There's there's our Chud boy. There's Ethan Klein in the cornfield. You got you got PPP over there. Uh, but yeah, so they've got they've got this poster, and I think let me let me check first. Hold on, so I'm not jumping to the wrong thing. Or you can click here. Is this is this here the one I want to go to? Ah, it looks like yes. Uh, also, they put this up on a website called Society Six, which I'm not familiar with, but I guess it's another place to sell art. And they've got a tote bag. And throw pillows and posters and all that shit. I actually might get a throw pillow myself. I was looking at this earlier, to be honest with you. <laughs> and, and look, Ralph, uh, don't be mad. You can even get a purse. Look, they even took care of it. There's a purse for you, Ralph. We know how much you fucking love purses, right? So you should be fine with that. So if you're interested in that merch, you like that picture, again, that's chudbuds.lol backslash about backslash merch. Or you can go to, they've got a link to their Society6 page, or you can get that. I think it's well done. I thought it was cool. I'm more than likely going to get a throw pillow. And Ralph should learn to have a sense of humor. Are you mad because it says, where's the lol cow? And your picture's on it? There are like 200 people on there. I don't think anybody else got upset about it. I don't think a single person got upset. You're the only person that got upset about that, Ralph. Okay. Uh, where, where, oh, fuck, I don't, I've lost my place. Uh, from Yul Brenner, <laughs> uh, Nick is so cool. What a cool guy. Not a gay guy at all. It's from Yul there. From White Butter, have you heard about the local Cyrax? No, but somebody mentioned that earlier. As well as Hypernova, was it? I have to, I have to look at both. From uh, Fuzzo. Uh, funny enough, the Chuck Holloway account is banned now as well. From Sus, who should, or who should I vote for for Minnesota governor? No, oh, I don't. <laughs> I don't I don't know what to tell you who to vote for. Don't come to me for political opinions. You're talking about that. I just got done talking about a dude's marriage getting destroyed by a shoe salesman for an hour. Do you really want to ask my political advice? Is that, is that who should be asking for deep thoughts? From Tiberian Fiend, any right winger who thinks the eternal capitalist is on his side is a fool. From the pill dispenser, my wife and I watched your stream during the lockdown. It was awesome. Three days ago, we watched the movie Threads while our two sons were sleeping. Yeah, Threads is a, a dark fucking movie. From Pog, or Pogicus, uh, Jim, would I be able to send you some fan mail? Just a little to or token of appreciation for the laughs. Not a bomb, I swear. You know, everybody that sends me a bomb says that. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, the pill dispenser. She gets why you have uh, a cancer. In the meantime, I control her for our third kid by saying, baby coming, baby coming, as she delivered a distorted piece of wood. Thanks for nothing, Jim. From Drooby, evening, Jim. Uh, may you get full-size candy bars. Oh, well, I love the full-size candy bars. Bill Dispenser again. She woke up after one of the worst nights ever, dripping in sweat, and she shat three times in the morning. She wants me to say that. <clears throat> oh, well, fantastic. From CJ Man 2112 Last pig rage donor for the month. Ralph was also upset about Twitter purge that he lost a thousand not or a thousand followers, and he was happy he was almost at 50k. Sad. <laughs> from an account called YouTube Bot, uh, Noogie Nerds Rise Up. From Claire Bear, I don't know if you saw, but Ralph got super mad about the local gym poster. I'm sure it'd be a shame if you showed it to the stream. I, I literally just did. Uh, but there you go. From Legato Mati, the poster is amazing. You should show it. Uh, from Tyler Galepsi. Uh, Elon needs to be careful, otherwise he might end up just hanging himself on a suicide watch. <clears throat> oh my god, old man's voice is going to shit. Uh, from Cole Cole, Big Tech is trying to be the new religion. Please skim through the link I will send you on post. Super chat, not letting me link it. I, I will check it out. Uh, Beguile me, happy Halloween, you underdog you. From Fletcher371, 
Jim, those toys and medication rooms that Big Tech promised uh, to install are bait. If you use them, you'll be the first on the chopping block come firing time. From Wheel Spider, did you see Jesse Samalette PS from Pot Awful? Uh, said he was starting a show with Andy next week. He's one of my favorite goons, but is currently acting like Spoonie. Uh, I don't, I don't know what's like the Kino Casino thing. I don't, it feels it's like the world's biggest bit. I don't know where it's going. I don't know what the fuck is happening with this entire thing. You've got, um, you've got uh, what is it? Um, PPP with uh, is it Percept? And now I guess Andy and Jesse together. Then you got Godwinson uh, taking shots at both of them. I feel like they're gonna like do like some cabaret show together at the end of it and be like, "We fucking fooled ya." Uh, from E1000 Mega or E1000 Omega one two three five dollars used to buy a pack of spokes. Not anymore. Thanks, Sleepy Joe. Enjoy half a pack on me. Wheel Spider. Oh no, you said that twice. But yes, I, I did see the super chat. Uh, Bling Blong Dinga too. Final stream before the internet dies. You and DSP talking about Wing's wife. They reacted to each other recently. From A. Warren Johnson, you don't mess around with Jim by Jim Crows. From Red Sea, DSP, the bash out of streamers. Uh, X kill Kenny X69, Jim and Phil, the ultimate interview. Uh, JS, Jim, don't kill yourself online. We need entertainment. Stupid ugly. Jim, I shaved half my face and I'm going as a half bearded, or half beard the pirate. Happy Halloween, brother. Well, I hope you have a good time. From Hell on Wheels, we ever do another internet insanity? If so, are there any potential candidates? They were always my favorite videos. Uh, no, the only thing I said mildly interested me in <laughs> if I was ever going to do a video again was um, uh, the Wakasha driver. What is it? Daryl? Is Daryl Brooks? Whatever the guy's name is. Guy that drove through the parade. Because apparently he was a sovereign citizen. Like, that would have been a sovereign citizen uh, video if I was still making them. From He-Man. Uh, so, Phil, <laughs> what were you fapping to on that day? From past Mike, happy Halloween, Jim. Any news on when Ballad of Mr. Medicare Part 2 is scheduled to come out? I, I don't know. You'd have to ask K or KAP. From Uncle Hall, Jim, have you seen Where's Local Art going around? Yes, I have. We just talked about it. And Serbian Sausage Baker, finally managed to catch a stream for once. Thanks for the years of entertainment. Ugh, my voice. Now, that catches me up to where it says I am on Super Chats, but I saw more came in. So, uh, from Jim. For Canadian 10, thanks for recommending Brigandine, playing the new one on Switch right now. Fun game. Well, I'm glad you're liking it. The original is fucking primo. From John Fortnite Kennedy, The Lost Files, for CLP 5000. I don't know what CLP stands for. I'm not sure what, what currency that is, but okay. Uh, can you give a shout out to my friend Kate Hikes, also Sneed? Well, there you go. Uh, let me see if I can. I, I'm, I'm sure a few more came in and I missed them. Let me try to get them here. Got to refresh. Sorry. One second, chat. Try to make sure I get everybody before we, we sign off for the month. Uh, from JS, you are streaming next year, right, if you can? Oh, yeah, I think this might be the last year, to be honest with you. Uh, Lou, or Lorgar, apologist. Uh, why do you think Dick Masterson still isn't talking about Ralph and his insanity? Well, he does talk about Ralph, but he's mostly defending him. Uh, that was a John Kennedy one, Jim one. Okay, Alan Cruz, any updates on your health? Uh, still shit. <laughs> still shit, uh, but at least I have uh, a lead for once, uh, which is going to require a lot of bullshit. And then um, <laughs> a lot of bullshit. Uh, from Supreme, uh, Jim, can you do a small segment on ha or Hasbro during your morning show to motivate Andy to finally finish them? From Mr. Silson, hey, Jim, got to work Halloween. Fuck my life. Thanks for the years of laughs and mirth, and here's hoping we all make it to 2023. A woo, Alan Cruz. That's a pray for, to you from Tony Danza. Uh, from Andre, or Andre Flores. Hey, Jim, I'd like to offer a proposal. Your merch could use some new designs. Or merch. I saw that as merch. Your merch could use some new designs. I work doing degenerate artwork and would like to have a chat about maybe working together. Message me. Well, I have my wife do that stuff. <laughs> So I, I don't know how she'd feel about it, but I, I could always message you to see what you're interested in proposing. From Alphabet, congrats to Elon Musk for buying Twitter and for Meta stocks being down 70.7% this year to date. Can't wait until they get shut down. 420 Gun Inc. Uh, hey, Jim, with all the success of Game of Thrones and House of Dragons, do you think dragon human bestiality porn would be more popular? I don't know, man. Everybody seems to love the dolphin porn. That seems to be where it's at right now. From Lung, I love Israel and the Jews. Nick in in 
Akio, Happy Halloween, Hat Bear, and Jim. Please send my girl that hat you promised her. Best wishes, man, for real. From X Yoshi X or X Epic X Yoshi X. Bully the Week Shoes Wenjibo. I don't think any of these stores actually sell shoes. From Nicholas Diorio, I own the soul of Baraka. From Walter Deadman J- or Dark Jim, you gave me hope Twitch will burn at the end of the year, and the disabled streaming there will have to find real jobs. That's a plus. That horror needs to sue. From Celius, reminder that Persona 5 just came out on the Steam. From Daniel Caven, uh, this gives a whole new meaning to the show on head. From Manny Pardo, bless Medicare's back at it. You and Sam Hyde are all I need. Please do more internet insanity or YouTuber spotlights. It's the only background noise that works anymore. From Barrett Privateer, uh, or hey, uh, videos are pretty good though. Watch some to support her. Lamau, are you talking about the Twitch uh, chick that fell on her ass? I, I, is she a porn star like an OnlyFans thing? I don't know. Like I'm not the whole Twitch sphere. I don't know shit about. Uh, K vibes. Destiny confirms Nick Fuentes is gay at TwitchCon. I did see that clip from Minute World. Have you ever thought about streaming video games on Odyssey? Have you heard of RPCS3? Uh, the PS3 emulator. No, I've not. JS. Read the YouTube member super chats. Uh, Carlos, Jim, can you make a seven day zombie apocalypse audio RP so I can mod it into Zomboid radio logs? Lore takes place in 93. Thanks for all the entertainment over the through or the years, uh, either way. Can I, can I make a seven day zombie apocalypse audio RP so you can mod it in as radio logs? Are you, I, I could read and record audio, but I, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to write it. <laughs> You'd have to write it yourself. Uh, from the girl, yeah. Uh, it's official Jim Berserk, a dead man's manga. Left hiatus faster than Tagashi's Hunter x Hunter. Happy Blackbird. Thanks to you, I've quit SpaghettiOs. Like Blog Dingo 2, Yu-Gi-Oh! is way more of a money scheme with straight rares or meta rare cards being 500. <laughs> Are you kidding me? There's shit in Magic the Gathering that's worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. No, it's become ridiculous. And I know that's the older stuff that's supposed to be out of print. Uh, but even even misprints and shit that were coming out, you know, and then you get the foil version of them. What was it that was ridiculous and cost Tarmogoyf? Um, it shot for like five bucks because of a, you know, miscast. It was like the casting cost wasn't right or some shit. It became like a $50,000 card and the foil, it's fucking ridiculous. Uh, casual nerd studies. When are you going to finish the coverage over that crazy Gale lady who covered on DLive? I think we hit the end of the road with that one. Uh, Shekel Goblin, or Coblin, make sure to ask DSP if you would sniff Jury's Feet from John Carlo Reyes. Happy Halloween, Jimbo. Who would you rather be, PPP, Worski, or Godwinson? Oh, let me think. Well, Godwinson is supposed to be royalty, right? And Andy and PPP, I mean, they got a payday from boxing. Which, I mean, that's nice. That's money in the bank. But, I, you know, if, if God would send his royalty, then I get like a crown, right? And a scepter and a throne. That's not really a hard choice. From Conch Jaunch, uh, you like season three of The Boys, Soldier Boy is Chad Boomer Energy Incarnate. And Corey Cast Jim, are you going to make a Locals? Uh, is that the thing where Katie uses? I don't even know what that, is that like a social media site or like a money site? I'm not actually sure what Locals is for. All right, we had a few more come in. Let me read these, and we'll we'll finish it up. Uh, from Logan Spangler, did you see the picture of Jack Nicholson spilling a Tupperware of homemade chili all over ongoing NBA game from courtside and just sitting there smug, very high chud energy? Uh, no, I have not, but it sounds great. From Dick Tuno, in case you do call-ins, and this is the last stream I catch live, thank you for keeping us sane with all the entertaining uh, or entertainment for all the years. From Reverend Michael Claudington, Jim, I love the content. Here's to you, uh, the Chuds, and all the laughs. Happy Halloween. Well, back at you. And uh, Alan Cruz, I think I speak for most fans, I would like uh, for you to appear on the episode of Who Are These Podcasts? I don't know what the fuck you guys would talk about, but help that club-footed hack make a good show. And finally, Spacey. It's good to hear your voice, Jim. Call me a queer, but YouTube is better with you here. Uh, Well, thank you. All right. I think I've got everybody. If I missed any, I'm truly sorry. I tried to make sure I get, a, you know, a, a, as many as I can. But YouTube's back end is a joke. <laughs> Try to go through. You've got to go like three or four tabs to get to the fucking chats. And then it, it's a nightmare. Anyway, 
enjoy your Halloween chat. I hope everything uh, goes well for you throughout the month of November. Remember, no Ralph November. Come back with some interesting tales of other people. I don't think we'll have a nuclear apocalypse. I think everybody's going to escape by like we did this month too. So it should be good. I think we're, I think things are looking up. Everything's looking, everything's looking bright. Keith Ringer, you didn't read my super chat, but I just did. I just did. So I'll see everybody for the next year of the chut in the end of November. Hopefully we get the DSP thing lined up in December. If we do, great. If not, well, what can you do? What can you do? I wish I could play some of my outro songs <laughs> that I've been using on Odyssey, but there's no way in hell any of them would be permissible here. There's literally no way I could play any of them. I'm very sorry, chat. They're all very good. There's some very good songs, but there's just, there's no way. So I think what I'll just, I, I, we're going to close this out with some Rama Rama. Why not? It's a classic. Everybody loves a little Rama Rama. Why not? Oh, we have Pippa, Pippa, Pippa sings Rama Rama. Should we do that? Does Pippa do karaoke? Is that actually them singing? Okay, we're, we're going to close it out with Pippa, Pippa singing Rama Rama. It's a PPRR would be the acronym for that. Pippa, Pippa sings Rama Rama. Let's do it. Everybody, let me just change this really quick. Uh, quick. Uh, there we go. All right. Let's have Pippa. Let's have Pippa take us away. <laughs>